we doing? How we doing, guys? How's it going? <laughs> Oh, uh, we're great. Wes, she's just out here talking some smack already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, mm. I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick kind of shout out for everybody so that stream know who's around. And uh, I guess what we're going to do is one by one, we're going to pull people in and have a bit of a tour of your account. So going to understand how you've gone about specifically champions and shards. And we want to get, we want the stream to give you a rating out of 10 for how lucky you have been. This is a who's the luckiest challenger. So let's just start a bit of a roll call. So we've got Deadwood at the top. Deadwood, how you doing, mate? I'm doing great. Doing well. Uh, just running. I'm doing. I'm preparing for Day of Potions number two. Very excited. <laughs> the Day of Potions two. How have you been finding the, the free to play challenge? We're three weeks in today, by the way. Three weeks in today. Okay. Well, I, I've been loving it. I think it's been very fun. Uh, definitely has completely rejuvenated my love of the game. Um, hey, I, if you'd asked me three weeks ago, I would have said, yeah, I like the game. If you asked me today, I'm like, yeah, I love the game. It's, it's nice. like really been that drastic a thing. So, so yeah, I'm having a blast with it. Um, definitely fun. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to win this little uh, competition, this portion <laughs> of it, okay? but uh, I definitely feel like I'm probably up there on the uh, high scale of uh, luck rating so far. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well, I wonder what you count as winning, the luckiest or the or like. What would you view as winning? You know what? Let's make you feel better. We'll say the unluckiest. <laughs> is the, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, lockers, how you doing? Hello, hello. The lockers has, has probably peaked a little bit on his luck levels. Uh, how have you I been finding? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> how have you been finding the uh, the new account challenge? Uh, well, it's the best I can have had so far, so pretty good. Yeah, and obviously, like, you've played Raid, but you, you tend to play Raid and drop it. Have, have you found, with this kind of competition, there's a bit more of a push to kind of get stuff done? Well, yeah, I've, I've basically been playing the game non-stop as much as possible, whereas before, <laughs> I was like, literally, like I said, on and off, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, I don't know, Earbad, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. How you doing, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Long week. I can't believe it's only three weeks into this challenge. It feels like three months. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're, you're running the full-time job whilst then getting back and trying to get everything done. Have you found the time to play this game? It's, I, I'd say the main account has definitely suffered uh, a bit. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm finding the time at the moment, but it's, I don't know how sustainable it is particularly like when we get holidays or something <laughs> something's going to give eventually but for now i'm keeping up yeah yeah good stuff and i guess we'll get into your account in a minute but do you feel do you feel happy with how far you progressed in three weeks yeah i'd say overall i'm happy with the progress i've had um it's always tricky when you compare yourself to others who have maybe had some some insane luck and uh you know you just can't compete with that kind yeah. of <laughs> that kind of progress but outside of that i think it's progressing nicely okay cool okay so uh never we got never on i'm there ever so um i'm pretty excited to show off your account if, if anyone doesn't know so i said right at the start i never wasn't on the original kind of chat but i did say i think he's fun to watch and nobody sends me screenshots like this man <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> so yeah how have you been finding it mate yeah, it's good. It's uh, definitely restored my joy for the game. Um, even though I was a little bit, I guess, downhearted to get Gallic at the start, I've yeah. uh, made it work until it didn't. So he's getting dropped quickly. Yeah, well, I guess um, when we go through your account, you can kind of show us why. But certainly from the screenshots, there's been perhaps one epic which has stood out as one that I probably underrated. Have you found, you know, almost coming into a challenge like this where you've got to use who you've got? yeah I, I didn't really have a choice um obviously as we were moving on to like trying to move on to brutal clan boss i i really lacked damage um i at the start i pulled a load of supports so i i didn't really have much option and then i had to experiment and it paid off yeah yeah well I, as i say we'll show you account in a bit but damn it's pretty damn impressive from what i've seen Saf, Saf how are you finding things welcome welcome I want to quit the free-to-play series. That's how I'm finding it. I'm having a terrible time, everyone. It's I do awful. get the same amount of DMs from Saf, but they're all like doom and gloom. How the 
hell? So honest question, how the hell do people actually play this game free to play without actually wanting to tear their eyeballs out and quit the game? Because it is so frustrating. If you don't get like, I, th I think actually we should have a category, a double vote in this stream tonight. We should have who's the luckiest and also who's the unluckiest. Because yeah. well, actually, if do you don't get anyway. the right champion, yeah. you get like, like you'll see when, you, when we look at the accounts, like I'm hard stuck in places that other people are just like blown through because of certain little niche picks and little champion picks. It's very frustrating. I'm really despising Arena as well. Honestly, it's, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. Okay, well, we're, we're going to come to your account first. We've got a couple more people to introduce, but we'll come to your account first. I know you want to get watching Chelsea. Um, Chelsea, 300 million squad. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I am excited to see like how far you have progressed. Obviously, you got the golden start, Saf. Let's be honest. You got yeah. the start everyone so wanted. This is what I want to point out today is the golden star may sound good, but I've come to realize that actually the golden star isn't as gloriously like invincible as everyone thinks it might actually be. And there's only so far that Deacon Kale can get you, basically, is what, is what the point I want to make. Yeah, yeah. All right, Saf. So we will come to your account first, but let's just get to the last couple here. So... YST in the house. How you doing? How's it going? Yeah, it's going well, man. Yeah, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling like free-to-play life is my only life right now. <laughs> Grinding away like, like I've never played this game before. My gosh, it's been crazy. Have you really played on your main account at all? No, it's like for CVC, my whole clan's screaming at me. Like you got zero points on the board. Ah! I was like, oh, I was like, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I had like 10 hours to go and farm up a bunch of CVC and then... We ended up losing R1 for the free to play as well. So I'm just losing everywhere this week. So, <laughs> oh no, I, I'll tell you what, I had a similar thing with the main account. I basically, I've, I've logged on. So I logged on for some clan v clan just to get some points on the board. But I was like, log on, put some books into some people, and away I go again. Like, it's, it just isn't, yeah, it's, it's not on the radar. Yeah. But how are you feeling about this kind of, you know, barrel? showing the accounts off today are you com like comfortable with it or are you feeling a little bit like you might take some grief here uh, i might take a little bit of grief but maybe but... <laughs> you might take a lot i'll tell you that much <laughs> yst would you say your shard luck has been like really terrible right you've really struggled you've I'd just say, not had um, many champions yeah i'm definitely uh probably bottom nine bottom ten yeah he's easiest the unluckiest that. shard pull up a lot right <laughs> <laughs> oh god but yeah, oh, but it's been a lot of fun though. Like, I've been enjoying the free to play experience so far, and yeah, makes me want to like sign in the game more than I already did before. So yeah, I've been enjoying yeah. it. Yeah, nice. Okay, so on to you, ADH. On me. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's go back to the original chat. You were done to play twenty minutes a day. <laughs> I have not played twenty minutes ah. a day. <laughs> <laughs> six hours. Six I've hours. I've done like a full eight hours work a day. Yeah. <laughs> how, how game. But do you feel like you want to log into the game now? Are you, are you in that um, place yet or not? Yeah, but maybe it's still a bit more out of duty than <laughs> <laughs> than I can't wait. Okay, but but you're, is it moving? Is the dial moving from like I'm being forced to do this to actually I'm just it's, logging in? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, because you seem quite pleased. Like when you do some little milestones, you're like I've just done this. <laughs> yeah. Like she seems genuinely pleased with it. Yeah, but that's what I like. Yeah, I like to... we're like winning Complete stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, how are you feeling about the, the kind of luckometer? Oh, the luckometer is not in my favour. <laughs> but even if it was, I wouldn't really know what to do with it. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's too much of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you might, it might change tonight because you've got a couple of shards sitting in the bio, haven't you? Yeah. Second sacred. Yeah. And the ancients. And ancient, yeah. And ancient. And we've actually got a good weekend. This, this is what I mean. When we're going to discuss people's luck, it's like sometimes part of that luck is when you decide you're going to pull shards, isn't it? It's not just a case of, okay, I pulled a shard and got lucky. Sometimes it's actually when did I choose to pull the shard and was there a better reason to pull it at that moment in time? Like, I know um, Odd One, who we're going to get to in a sec, absolutely pushed for several sacreds to pull during a times two sacreds. And so you have to say, all right, he's maybe lucky, but he's made some of that luck. Yeah? Would you agree, old one? Did you see my four sacreds that I pulled? I, I didn't, actually. Yeah, they weren't well, very lucky. Absolutely oh, no, no, rubbish. Oh, and no, she got a load of gold. I figured it must be from that, no? Absolutely <laughs> rubbish. All my golds I got in the first week. That's all. So what I got from my ancients, and then that was it. Game over. 
Oh, okay. I would say he had one of those special accounts that. that I got think so, maybe. Legendary. Yeah, uh, are we? Do we have any like early screenshots of those accounts that seem to go crazy at the start? Because I feel like some of them must have. I mean, I um, didn't go and check there, you know, when the summoning portal, because I would never know to look for yeah. that bef before that happened. But there's a possibility I got that. But to be fair, after the first one, I got the second one. So I don't know. But still, it, it kind of ended there, you know, yeah, when it comes yeah. to my life. Those four sacreds were dreadful. Not going to lie. Dreadful. It's like got two login champs and two champions that can help at a certain point in like a year in Faction Wars. So hmm. I'm not sure. How are you feeling, though, generally, noticed, though? though. You've, do you feel like you've you've had kind of your fair share of luck here, Odd One, or are you actually? Yeah, like I'm not complaining. I'm definitely, oh, I'm definitely like complaining, mate. I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I am because of the secret. It's it's kind of like the situation where you know I got my Tomb Lord, which was amazing. I'm loving it. I would definitely, I might trade him for a crest, but <laughs> apart from that, it's like you know everything oh. else was a bit. I had to kind of work towards. Okay, what am I gonna build? I'm mostly yeah. using like login champs, Jumarsa, Shield Guard, so. Still, still needing some stuff in there. Still needing some stuff. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do then. Let's let's log into the first one. I know Saf, you would want you wanted to go first, right? So let's log into yeah. yours. Right then, the first challenger, Saf, who got the golden start, the best start anyone could have got in the game. It was uh, a very did expensive he make the most start. Of it? Did he make the most of it? That's the question. I feel like all my <laughs> luck went in that start. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, you know, it's all about making do with what you got, buddy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, Safira here. Here we go. I guess we'll start then. Well, we'll start here. You've got zero shards left, so we know this. This is year of the YOLO for most of us. Talk us through your strategy <laughs> with shards, Saf. Yeah, um, I got baited by Karga. You know, mm. times ten Karga. Um, yeah. So, I, a lot what? of people actually in a lot of the videos that I've done. I've kind of said, oh, why, you know, you need to be saving shards. But because of the last fusion, in my head, the summon rush points, the, the inflation we're getting, unless we're rocking up with like five sacreds, it's almost like I don't, I don't see like we've got a reality for a while. So in my head, I figured just being able to get higher up in the clan boss or higher up in Doom Tower where access to shards comes in into more, more of a realistic situation yeah. would be better. And in order to do that, I need an ally protector. I need some champions. So I've been pulling shards in optimal solutions a little bit in order to try and get the basic champs in. What do you class um, as an optimal solution? So like if there was, I pulled during the, the times 10 because there was like Elva and Brogni and everything on a times 10. So I'm not saying times 10 is necessarily amazing, but if there is a times 10 to do it on, that was like one of the better ones to do it on. And I pulled obviously the ancients right at the start. We all went pretty hard really early to try and get as many ancients in for the times two. I'll probably try and do all the referrals to get the sacred for the next times two sacreds, but like, I wouldn't pull this weekend because I think this weekend is just not as good. Even, I did so pull for the Korrigar, though. You say this weekend's not as good. Like The way I see it, for me, this weekend would be amazing if I just got one of those epics. Like, I know you started with a Deke, so is that just because of your account situation, do you think? Uh, what, what, are the, what were the other epics? I don't think they were very good for clan boss, were they? Well, you've got... Mist Rider, you've got... No, they're probably not all clan boss ones, but they're AoE decreased defense kind of type of champs, right? Yeah, I think because I've got Deacon already, it's a lot less important. You know, so like starting with Deacon Kale is great because you do get that AoE decreased defense with poison combo, which is really good in some places. But also, like with Deacon, you had to really book him to get the value. If you didn't book him, you were just... You weren't getting the same level of... I suppose like the same level of like use, especially if he wasn't even ascended either. Like an unascended deacon is is basically useless. <laughs> it feels like you get you have to always have to choose between if you want the the boost or the decreased defense. So I booked yeah. deacon straight away, and when he was ascended, then it's really good. But you do hit it's like a wall with deacon kale where you don't really get much beyond just that like thing. Like you're trying to build kale to be your wave clearer, your poisoner, and be a surviving in clan boss is actually quite difficult because you you can't really fit the accuracy in. Right? I've just managed to get today a four star banner for accuracy on him which is right, okay. great because now he's actually able to do poisons on dragon 16, which I can auto farm. So I'm, I'm at auto farm dragon 16. I can solo dragon uh, spider 10 with kale with food, uh, which is great. Um, but I'm hard stuck in doom tower and arena is just like, I mean, you can refresh arena right now and you'll see exactly the, the horrific situation that I'm in. Yeah, I know I've, I'm in the same, well, I'm a little bit further than you, but I am in the same sort of position. So 
You're 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 a bit ahead of, ahead of me, but probably in a similar place on dungeons. I think to most of the group, maybe a bit ahead of most of the group on dungeons. You you're stuck. I'm surprised you're stuck here on Agraf. Actually, I found that reasonably easy. But you're saying it's you're just, just because you can't up. survive the second wave of poison. So you you, got, you kind of get into the situation where like I don't have a, a cleanser other than spirit host at level thirty. I don't have any sort of hard carry. I've not got a book to master or anything like that. So you get through, you clear the first wave. That's easy. You can I can nuke the spiderlings. And then when the second set of spiderlings come in, you get another wave of poisons. And because the boss extends the duration of the poisons, you have to then either AOE to heal back up. And then you've got like four turns of se seven poisons or you single target a spiderling, and then you die anyway. And that's, that's kind of where I'm stuck at the moment. So it's just an, I just don't, like, I'd have to invest into spirit host and I just really don't see the point. Can you not just you, you're a grim cleanse kale and then he's useless at five turns. Yeah, well, it's just... So on my one, on my one, I'm just, I wasn't going to go into this, but my one spirit host cleanses once never again. And then kale one on one's the boss. Yeah. So my spirit host can't survive basically. And I just, I, yeah, I, but what I I'm saying is, can Eurogrim do the same job as that? Eurogrim cleanses the Kale, and then Kale does the job. Yes, but then when the poisons come back, because she resummons the spiderlings, you're dead. You can run it. Like that's okay. that's the problem. I've, I've tried different combinations. See, it's the second mm -hmm. wave of spiderlings. When she resummons them, you you get poisons again, and then you're faced with a decision of either I A two to heal back up, and then she the her passive will extend the poisons of those five poisons that I've now got, and then the next attack she does, she consumes, and then you die. Or you single target the the spideling to hope that you don't extend the poisons, but then she one shots you because you've taken too much damage from the spideling attack. Yeah, the, the first cleanse is the problem. It's the second one. That's the one I'm finding. I don't have enough damage to basically kill the queen before she summons spidelings again. So, yeah, I find whenever the spidelings spawn, I just nuke them again. I hold the A two, nuke the spidelings again. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're getting we're getting us. into yeah. we're getting into <laughs> detail here. So, let's have a look then. So, I know you're saying. Perhaps you you feel like your luck has been down on on shard pools, right? Is that is that accurate? I would say I've got some good champions, but not the right champions. If that makes sense. So obviously you started with your Kale Deek. Yeah. You've pulled Eurogrim. Yeah, that's a good champion. Actually, until he's booked, not a very useful champion because okay. the cooldowns are too long. That's that's the context here. Obviously, this a lot is, of people in chat are probably going mental. To decide, by the way, like stream, make your own decision on this. <laughs> I'll but, give you my opinion. They can me that. That's the situation. That's why yeah, he's yeah. not. That's why I haven't sixtied him as like my second or third sixty because I don't have the books or the gear to keep him alive. So he and just is, dies. But on is, is this your next book champion? Is that kind of where uh, you're going? It's it's basically torn between Gambo. Deacon or Arogrim, depending on how the booking situation goes. You can see I've been unfortunately landing a lot of books on his A1, which is not terrible, but it's not exactly great for yeah. his ability. Uh, so, you, so you've had a Deke. Uh, so you got Deke originally, you got Ronda originally, you've had a Eurogrim, you've had a Hosker rule. What are you saying there? What, what's your thoughts with that? It's actually really good, Hosker rule. Like, it's quite a big. I'm actually. So I, I actually got Hosker rule from a Spider 10 Ancient Chard, believe it or not. Like, crazy luck. But. I was going to be thinking about using Quargon and Clan Boss as an increased defense champion, but this guy now probably comes in because he's got like that ability to cleanse stuns or be able to be immune to stuns. So either I make him a stun target or he'll cleanse it. But we also get like a four turn increased defense. So I could put him on a four three ratio and get myself an increased defense buff across all my team. And outside of Clan Boss, he, I think he's got the highest stun chance on an AoE ability of any epic in the entire game. So. Yeah, and it's has, very yeah. low books as well, which is another advantage. Like the risk of me getting in a bad booking situation with him is actually a lot lower than, say, someone like a Gembo who has like nine books on his A1, which is terrifying to me to think about. And you also pulled, so you've got another Void Epic in Umbral. Yeah. So two Void Epics. That was like the first weekend. We got really lucky with like we pulled Harkin and Umbral out of three Voids on the first like batch of Voids you get. Yeah, Christ. Yeah, you got three Void Epics. Yeah. Absolutely crazy, right? But again, they're, like, they're good. This is the thing, right? They're good void epics when I need them. But right now, none of them really fit into, like, there's different problems with various different things. Like, Umbral eventually will become, like, a, probably a dominant god in Arena. Or if I need to get through, like, more two waves in Doom Tower, like, I've got a go to option. She was great for, like, 12 7 brutal campaign boss. Yeah. Basically, like, a Paragon kind of type, type champion. But again, she's going to require books for Arena reliability because 80% isn't going to cut it. And there's not really many places that I found that I needed to use her so far. Okay, and then Magnar. So you've got Magnar, but you're gonna go with Gembo anyway, even even though you've yeah. got a Magnar, yeah. 
Why is that? Yeah, gearing wise, it's easier to gear Gembo than it is to gear Magna. Just because of what crit rate? Yeah, the buff, the buff, and also the fact that he's got the ability <clears> to like ignore <throat> swift parry and different things. And you do see an awful lot of weird champions in like in the arena these days. Like Leoris isn't just tied to gold five; he's quite, you know, he's he's in there. Okay, um, so perhaps. So yeah. Anyone else got any input around their thoughts for Saf's account here? Are you feeling like this is a lucky first three weeks, or uh, are you feeling like Saf's on the, the low end of luck? <laughs> Anyone in the lounge? I mean, it's pretty good. Hello. Pretty good. Locker says, pretty good. Hey, Fix, how you doing? I'm good. Welcome, welcome. We're just doing a we're just doing the first account here. We're well, showing well, Saf's. Sorry, Saf's got the most OP account going. I'm only saying that to wind him up. So. <laughs> I was going to say, the first person commenting on that can't be the one that managed to pull, not only pull a Chris, but also pull let, a Salt. Let him Chris defend himself right on his own time, Saf. <laughs> this is your account we're talking about. Uh... <laughs> can, we, can, we, like, can we rename Lockers to Luckers in the challenge? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that lucky. <laughs> yeah, okay. we, we've all seen the video. Yeah, you should know yeah. from the whole family out to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> more, more skill than luck, though, right, Lockers? Yeah. But this is the thing, right? We've always said this. We're, we, we'll be in a, a Monday morning meeting, and all of a sudden there'll be a DM in, in, like the, the, in our Discord chat, and it's like, oh, yeah, I pulled one random void and I got a Warlord. And we're all like, like what? Like, <laughs> casual Warlord pull? YOLO life. That's how you do it. So I guess, should we, should we go straight into a like... poll from stream and just say... Based on what they've seen so far, what do we think Saf's luck is like out of 10? So we, I've just thrown a poll up, guys. It's actually one to five because I can't do up to 10, but uh, <laughs> we'll change, we change the vote. But yeah, out of five, five being he's been extremely lucky. How lucky has Saf been? Uh, are you going to record? So I should say this? before we yeah. actually vote, they haven't seen the luck I've had on gear. That's the only place where I would say I'm SS tier. It's true, actually. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Look at these gloves. <laughs> I mean, oh you, my God. you can just pick any piece of gear on his account. Look at the amulet, yeah, by the way. Absolutely. Where's the um? Oh, it's disgusting. Where are those uh, boots at? What What makes that more cons more disgusting is that was a chaos or. Yeah, my chaos or's been crap. Uh, <laughs> I know how you feel about chaos or. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and actually, one thing we haven't called out as well is you do not yet have a Ronda soul, which is it, a blessing. It is, yeah, it is triggering is... me every time. They actually put up in the shop the other day, it wasn't Ronda, it was Rorik. I was like, you are like, <laughs> someone in Playroom is, is like watching me refresh it every 12 hours going, am I going to get my Ronda soul? Because actually Brimstone is kind of a big deal with Ronda because it is based on her attack. So because she hits so many times, actually you get a really high amount of brimstone chance. Yeah, massive. Um, yeah. Which is, is really frustrating because I know some people in, in this certain lounge has already got a Ronda Soul and uh, is kind of tearing up different stages and, and really adding a lot of value. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm not the only one. Yeah, I'm not saying you're the only one. That's the problem. <laughs> it feels like, it feels like me and Hell Hades are, are on that, that tier of we, we sit here and we watch everyone go, oh yeah, I just got a Ronda Soul. I just got a legendary champion. And me and Hell Hades like, we got Harrier? And yeah, <laughs> you know what, I think in my Can personal you opinion, you got super lucky in the and... form of like uh, crowd right, control yeah, champions. Yes, my, so, my like, when it comes to I'm wave control. Yeah. So if so for if I could get past stage like uh, thirty now in Doom Tower, I'm pretty sure I can climb forty is straightforward because I got coffin, coffin smasher. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can keep going, but it's that kind of thing of where the people can I kind of like boost past like stage thirty because they might have a relic we tender. Or they've got maybe like a slightly more uh, uh, like a booked up Jamasa, maybe. I haven't put any resource in Jamasa because I think it's just a waste of resources long term. And I'd rather so, put my so extra just, in something else. I seem to uh, jump in a sec. Mm -hmm. One last question before we jump onto someone else's account. So we're three weeks in, one week to go. <laughs> Do you think you can jump <laughs> from three key in hard to four key in ultra nightmare in this week? If I had an ally protector, I could. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Really? You're all sticking to that. One no. month free to play. No, no you couldn't. What are you saying? Do Listen you to your words. <laughs> you, you've got to remember, I was farming Spider 10 a lot quicker than everyone else. And I've I got remember, some pretty mate, good but... gear. <laughs> and I've Come always on. said, if I had Come an ally on. protect, if I pulled Corrigar out of those seven ancient shards, I would be guaranteed 100% Nightmare, and I'd be pushing Ultra Nightmare potentially. 
within like a week. <clears throat> I've already got the speed tune lin lined up. I'm ready to go. I just need the champion. Until I get the ally protector, it's just, it's just not possible. So Okay. Well, and I always said from the start, everyone in chat's like saying, <laughs> oh, ah, yeah, it's like, I always said from the start, it was dependent on would I get an ally protector? Not, I would be an ultra nightmare within a week. You can have my murder done. You can have my murder done. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a spare murder done as well, actually. <laughs> gear. If you look at the gear quality on anyone else's account, yeah. probably in this challenge, you do not have the gear to get to Ultra Nightmare. So, what you were hoping for is you had the perfect luck in every single dimension. And then, yeah, maybe. I was pretty <laughs> like, close. not realistic. I'm one champion away from it. A Crisk. I've already got an increased defense. I have a decreased attack. I've got a poisoner. I've got a decreased defense. I've got a leech. I've got the gear. I just need a. I'm I need the other protector. It's that's like that. It's, it's actually this is like one of the most frustrating things about the free to play experience I've experienced so far is on my main account. I can so like I can hard boost anything. Nothing feels like I, I I'm, I'm blocked. Where on the free to play, you, you kind of have to go. I can't do it. You just got to accept a little bit in your soul that you, there's just like a limitation to your ability takes, to do takes something. Takes more right time. Now. Of course, yeah. right. Limitations We're going to move on. To I encourage think you, to you spend. can think too much about this <laughs> <Exactly>. game. <laughs> We're going to move on. We're going to move on. So, on to Odd One's account. Odd One Gaming. Um, Hello. How you doing? Doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun. Yeah. No, I know you've got a couple of shards here. What's going on? Why are you not yolo in these? Uh, I'm saving them for the champion chase next week. So talk little, us through that. So, you're the first person I've heard that's saving... No, perhaps not. But you're one of the few that's actually saving some stuff. So, talk us through why. I mean, the thing was like this. I was in the YOLO mentality for the beginning. I kind of like yolo almost everything, or at least I saved my sacreds for the two times. But now that we actually know that there's a fusion coming up, I'm slowly starting to save my shards, and I'm even like preparing food. Like, next championship, I'm going to have 1,100 points just from like without pulling shards, because it's going to be high to two, and I have a Relic Keeper to fuse. I have some other stuff to do. So like, I'm trying to prepare, because hopefully there's going to be some interesting epics. And, I mean, how have you found three weeks? So three weeks, you, you spoke a little bit earlier that you started off really strong, yeah? You started off with, with an insane couple of pulls. Yeah, yeah, um, that's true. Who did you start off with? Tomb Lord. Tomb Lord in Tomb like, the Lord first few, couple of days. And yeah? Ruark, yes. And Ruark as well, yeah. Ruark's yeah. not even on your front page, man. He's like... Exactly. He's, he's like that. I don't chilling think in the vault. Deep. Guys, <laughs> chilling in the vault. That's a full of one star here. <laughs> Okay, that's the gear that I put day one on him. So many Hold on a minute. Never changed it. What's this gear he's in? I, I'm not sure. I, maybe I'm not seeing it. I just don't think he brings anything. Honestly, well, I don't feel like he brings way. anything for my... I mean, it doesn't matter what gear. What, like, I, I, maybe I'm not seeing his kit. I just don't feel like... Apart from his like A3 and the, the aura... And A2? I, I just don't see him. A2, it's A2. I already have Tomb Lord. Why would I use him? Oh, there is A1, A2, A3, and aura. <laughs> What's he bringing? You don't fancy, like these, the you don't fancy the these, like, shields and heals, no? I'll be honest. When you get to Scarab mm, King, you sure. are laughing your head off right now with that passive. That's the thing that I'm thinking, but I didn't get to Scarab yet, so that might like be an eight something useful. Shield. It's, yeah, and I think the only okay. thing you probably got to use for is the A3 right for Clan Boss, because it is like a tall I'm not target. even using him for Clan Boss anymore, honestly. But just the aura alone, 30% in all battles. The aura was huge. good, but I have Jumarsa that brings the same thing. It's a bit lower, but she brings the same thing. I mean, I've got to say here, insane that you've already got five, six stars. Yeah, like, I did grind a lot. I don't in. have gem mine. Did you see my gem count? Like, I, I pushed really hard. You've got no gem mine, but you've got 460 gems still, though. And I used, did... like, a thousand gems during the CVC to farm Masteries. All five have a part what? of... Masteries farmed. I bought for Shield Guard and Tomb Lord, and I just farmed for the other ones. I still need to get the War Master and Jumarsa. How have you got this much stuff? I farmed it during CVC. A thousand gems went... Straight into overnight mm -hmm. farming gems, uh, masteries. Hold on, you got a feast as well, right? Or was I yes, I got the yeah. feast because I won my champion chase group last week. That's why I have five. Otherwise, I would be at four myself. You forget, Hell Hades, he got an extra 540 gems. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So... I won a gems giveaway. I mean, I didn't win. This he was. <laughs> the wife won it. Yeah, this is wow. controversial. <laughs> this is controversial. <laughs> it happened live on stream. I didn't trick, I didn't cheese anything. The wife won it. So what you didn't even like... win it yourself? No, no. Hey, uh, Is that what you're saying? Hey, that would have been worse, baby. A... It's like this, I can blame the misses. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be doing a giveaway uh, tomorrow. Do you, are you planning on doing a giveaway tomorrow? I feel like I'm, giveaway I'm gonna give away a week. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> wow. But I mean, that aside, so obviously that's controversial and shocking behavior, uh, odd one. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one day before, somebody did a giveaway and entered his own giveaway. So <laughs> who did that? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Certain <laughs> streamer, I don't know. I didn't win though. Did you win? Yeah. yeah, but if what I... exact what would have had, had you if you had won? I don't know. Yeah, right? I was doing it for know. Lady H, not for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, with that aside, I mean, have you been anywhere else than Minnow and Campaign? Uh, yes. You must have been. Cause you've got doing... loads of missions as well. I don't get how you've got so much stuff. I was pushing the progress missions and the challenges. That's what I was doing. My main focus, because I didn't have something, oh, wow. or I don't see having something perfect for the sake of building for Clan Boss. I'm like, you know what? Let me just push challenges, push my progress missions, and you know, go from there and see see what else I I get. In the meantime, just I'm hoping to have Relic Keeper past the Relic Keeper point by next uh, Sunday. Not this one, but next week. Okay. Can, oh. can I just can I just yeah, say just one thing? He has an obscene amount of epic champions on this account. Yep. Yeah, well, we're going to get into that in a minute because I've seen he's got Colin. He's got Colin as well. Um, oh, Jay Giggs, you mean? <laughs> you mean Jay Giggs? <laughs> got Jay Giggs. Giggs. Straight in. He's actually. Jay Giggs he's has got some stuff really going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd take him in a heartbeat right now on my account. Yeah, so, I mean, this is a decent amount of epics. That's a lot of epics. Well, you got to look in the vault. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, got, this no, is it. He knew this was coming up. He's hiding yeah, a whole bunch. bunch in here. What about the reserve? The reserve is just fodder. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, Already? that's the thing. Like, if you could get those epics, then winning a champion chase gives you a feast, and then that gives it's a very uh, it's one of those like snowball effects, right? You you get one little bit of uh, advantage, and it gives you another one and another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I pulled well, four say... sacreds. I pulled four sacreds during that weekend. That was a thousand points. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to say, firstly, Ivily, welcome. Thank you for the raid. I hear you've been cheating on your husband's <laughs> behalf. Um, That's a very good definition of wife. I still <laughs> thank you for the raid, even though you're cheating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, obviously you, you went ham to get four sacreds for a two times chance on sacreds, right? So you've, you've got more epics just because, well, you were guaranteed four anyway. And yeah, you managed I, to pull all of those. a couple of gold. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I am, I'm genuinely shocked at how many six stars you've got and then the masteries to back those up. That's the crazy part for me. Like, I'm farming masteries now. It's painful. I'm like, I feel like that's all I'm doing. I can't even get involved in the other stuff. And I'm nowhere near this. Like, nowhere near it. I was grinding a lot. Not gonna lie, I told you that's my superpower. <laughs> <I'm> grinding. <laughs> that's my superpower. Do you a have tier six on all five of them, or is it just four? Uh, four? Just four. I'm close it's to Jamarsa, but six. I didn't farm. Tier six, tier six, tier six, four, and then 250 scrolls off on Jamarsa. That's pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Honestly, I mean, other than the, the cheating, actually, good job. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I pulled some dungeons as well, but not. Yeah, have you I, I mean, to be fair, my else? goal was. Yeah, my goal was is honestly to get to start getting to dungeon sixteen. So I stopped getting those <laughs> mystery shards and brews. So you know, yeah. whenever I want to farm the the what's it called any tournament i want to be at 16 which for some it might be difficult like spider i could not farm spider 10 consistently because of my spirit affinity nuker obviously as soon as i got cold heart everything became easier yeah <laughs> yeah i got a cold heart too yes oh, yeah, heart. just wow. said the words and and it dropped my heart is cold does that count yeah i mean to be <laughs> fair, I, have a, I have a pretty decent like i'm not complaining definitely i'm loving it tomb lord cold heart i have a good lineup for the sake of dungeons just trying to find stuff now to start pushing uh, the clan boss. Because in clan yeah, boss, I what, just cannot where are get. You? I'm almost at one keying hard. So if you... That's it. Because, I, I mean, one thing I always say is once you've unlocked more six stars, clan boss naturally just becomes easier because you get masteries, yeah. masteries do your damage. Um, so I, I actually thought you would have more than this. 
with it's a full not because it's six like stars. Doom Lords has a decreased attack on a five turn cooldown. That's not consistent enough. And I'm trying to use like a, a forty. Attack. I do have it. I have a what's his face. I have a, a uh, what's the one right? everybody has coffin smasher. I have him, but I, do I really want to invest in him? At his might, I mean, he might come out in, in a honest. couple of weeks. You've got. You just say everyone. I I don't have a coffin. I mean, I've seen I don't that. have one. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've not been that lucky on one. Say. I've not been la that lucky myself. <laughs> I mean, you've got someone here as a backup, no? Decrease attack. Uh, like Ruark. Eighty percent. I really oh, want to invest in him. I was going to manage. In zero. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, can we point out you've also got Anax, which is one of the best poisoners in the game. You've also got um, a, a Ronda Sol there. So, oh yes, yeah. I did. that was what made me six star her. Otherwise, I'm not wow. sure of six star her. <clears throat> okay, well let's yeah, let's I jump mean... into the poll then. So, Bella is well on that count. Yeah, no, Bella is is good, but I. Like, oh, I'm not going to use him. I'm going to get the stun set for him. Yeah, with your void rares, I mean, you probably basically pulled the two best ones, right? Yeah, definitely. 100%. I mean, Paragon's just for the cheese. I, I, I don't qualify as, as being somebody. I mean, Paragon huge. gets you past stage 30. So, Paragon so gets you past Saf every aggress spider wave. He's actually so insane to pull. I would well, say. I hope I, I, I hope I pull him next time then. <laughs> a, so, don't forget, MVP, right? um, Stream, when you're voting for. The rating you got to bear this in mind in terms of how he's approached the different shard events how he's approached the game how lucky has odd one been in his free to play in the first three weeks i have no more shots from challenges i have no more shots from missions i think anytime soon so it's kind of like yep everything was pulled on my account apart from the inches get... that i got from marketplace did you get Ruark from Ancients or... Uh, yes, it was in the first... My first shard per week. I got two blood and two shards later, I think, or ten shards later, it was Ruark. So That's why he's in been... the same build. He's in the same build that I had him day one when I pulled him. I haven't changed him since. Don't really use him. That's because of that so increased far. chances as well, right? I was going to say, yeah. Still, yeah, you got pretty lucky with it, I think. Yeah, I, th I feel like if that if Macon was one of them, which is a high possibility, definitely Tumblr was the first one. But after that, that one's cancelled, I think. It yeah. only works for your first uh, legendary. Yeah, yeah. After that, it was just the luck of two times. I, I do I like as well that you started with Shield Guard here. I Are definitely you... was not happy with Aethel and Chonoro. I, I don't know. They just didn't do well enough. It was too wonky. I want to have a different approach. I want to have fun. So I'm like, you know what? Shield Guard. So you, you started Shield Guard. And obviously, for the start, that's great. It saves all your books, all that type of stuff. Yeah. Do you find he's now feeling less and less useful? He's still good. If I, I, I'm just missing a couple of pieces from his build, and he can be strong enough to solo Minnow. That's, and that's I'm where he'll end up for you, pieces. yeah? Exactly, yeah. It's like, I knew he was going to be a good, uh, a good farmer. He does 12-3 pretty fast, especially, you know, if, again, if, if I get a little bit of good RNG, but I never have a, a problem 12-3 with him. He's fast. He's, if he's alone with the Minnow boss, again, he can do it on his own. Doesn't need a backup. Okay, then. So let's check out the, the score oh, for odd one. Happened. 54% okay, have got odd one as a 5 out of 5. I was expecting a 4. Luck. I was expecting a 4. 41% have got a 4. Advantage there. <laughs> then what, okay, I'm curious what's going to be for the other ones. I yeah, guess yeah, well, this is it. Because it's all, it's all relative, right? Yeah. So once you start seeing some others, it's like, well, hold on a minute. If that was a... You know, it's, if I'm a 5. Least... <laughs> Two legendaries, I think, counts as a 5. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it is... Me. Elva Ugo really Venom Mage, ethics. please do not speak. Elva like, Ugo Venom Mage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out here. Uh, we're, not, <laughs> we're not looking at dead ones yet, man. Don't be Ugo throwing me. That's not legendary. Don't give me that. It's legendary place. tier. It's yeah, legendary right. tier. Tomb Lord over here. Come on now. <laughs> give me I'm, some books I mean, for Tomb honest. Lord. I would trade every single Void Epic that I have in my account for a Cold Heart. I legit would. <laughs> I think it's just like an insane pickup. So strong. It's, it's nice that you've got them to trade. I mean, true. But you haven't yeah. actually done your challenges. <laughs> we'll get to you. You haven't done your challenges yet, so you've got loads of shards waiting. Right, let's jump on to Never's account next. Never's been crushing uh -oh. it, man. Never has been crushing it. I get at least I'm a, I'm a, a DM every three minutes from Never like, oh, I've done this. <laughs> oh, I've done this. Oh, by the way. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well done, buddy. I'm like, ah, yeah, I'm still a spider 10. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. I've not done more than Spider Ten. There's no point. <sighs> right. Where's all the shards? Never. 
Uh, they're they're gone. To... Wow. The second they come in, they're gone. Even mysteries is like that. Mystery. Well, yeah, because Yolo. I need a coffin smasher. So every ten oh. that come in, they go. Wow. Uh, okay, let's have a little look around this. So check out this great hall, guys. Check out the great hall already. Painful. All close your eyes. That is possible, man. Crazy. <laughs> Those uh, twelve losses are all stone skin, by the way. Are they? <laughs> Here's the difference. I'm on half the amount of battles because I can't get a goal too. It's crazy different in gold five. Oh, you're There's in just so many active players. So just never did refreshing. you did you refresh with gems? No, I didn't use to a get yourself up. For, I haven't used a single gem for arena. You're you just, just super active, gold right? Three. That's the strategy. Let's well, see. As soon as you, right here. as soon as you get to gold four, it's just a clean walk to gold five, and then gold five, you just you gain more points than you lose. Like after reset, it's a little bit slow. Like the first day, maybe. Day and uh, first two days, it's a little bit slow to get your fights, but it's pretty easy. Actually, what does a refresh look fight like for you? That, that's, that would be uh, interesting. I see. don't know that there's one ready, but there's probably a few fights that I could do. Yeah, I'll have a look in a sec. So, never you're on your two key or well, brutal, your two key and brutal, are you? Yeah, yeah, two key and brutal <laughs> three weeks in, and I can't see an ally protect or an attack down, by the way. Yeah, but imagine if you had an ally protector two or three weeks in that's what my point is i'd be old tonight man four weeks exactly <laughs> yeah maybe 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 saf's right possible. you know if gaelic came out for an ally protector is that possible ultra nightmare team honestly get him out my team quickly he's <laughs> maybe that's right about, though like can we just talk about the souls here he's got a, yeah <laughs> he's got souls on everyone i haven't got a single soul on a single champion and he's got souls on everyone going on here that's that's really lucky. The the phantom touches add a lot. You talk about fire knight proc hits and all these. It's actually very very big. So you've got your brimstone for Ronda, which we know is massive. That was actually the reason why you went six star on her, wasn't it? Uh, no, I six starred her for fire knight thirteen because I wasn't prepared to spend eight hours on a spreadsheet to get it done. Okay, I bet um, I did it though. <laughs> no, no one would do that. Um, so yeah, she, as well. she was dying um, at about thirty percent, and the rest was surviving for probably about two minutes without her. It was just healing more than i was doing so i thought if i six star her then she'll survive i'll be able to kill the boss yeah. and uh i got the soul the next day so very nice arena so let's have a quick look here you do it can i hit the refresh are you yeah yeah of course see it's not that easy <laughs> you'll be it looks the same as what i see to be fair but it is crazy i mean like not just scraping into gold here not just scraping into gold five high in gold i wish five. i would drop a little bit more but I, I just can't like obviously the you hit the drop limit and that's about it yeah i can't actually get lower than this one of the dms i got was look i'm nearly in platinum i'm like thanks i'm loving it <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look at doom tower i mean this is somebody who is, is absolutely gross, crushing this is the gross. game like... griffin 90 <laughs> is hard i i had to drop to three champions because my weaker champions were dying too quickly and it made the boss do more damage quicker so i had to three man it just chilling with the free man on yep. 90. what yep. day was it i went in with the full team and went no point being in here <laughs> came straight back out again <laughs> don't worry that was me today so. <laughs> yeah it is kind of nuts but you've also had i mean you also in a similar way to odd one you've got a lot of six stars here I guess actually you've got the same amount really because Odd One picked up that feast, didn't he? Yeah, yeah so I've only six starred four things. So exactly yeah, Odd One, you were on five, were you? Yeah, I'm on five. The fifth one was obviously the feast. Yeah, and so count it as guess... three because Gallic needs to go. Well, talk us through your experience of, of Gallic then. <laughs> you're, you're uh, man, you? A level fifty Fenshi did more damage than him in Clan Boss. It said it all. <laughs> um, I I need an attack down in my team to move on to Nightmare, and uh, he's. He's the weak link by a long shot. So, uh. Oh, you got the dwarf, though. The dwarf, well, runic water. Yeah. So do. unreliable. So unreliable in Clan Boss. Oh, Is it Bog Walker, the force rare below Gallic? Yeah. yeah. He'll be coming in eventually. <laughs> but, um. Yeah. It's Actually, got a, a decent. Case. Decent A1 decrease attack, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I would have um, 50 him already to bring him in, but I had to farm Fenchy's masteries to actually consider dropping Gallic anyway because I needed the tier 6 mastery damage. Yeah, let's yeah, have a quick a look at your mastery count here. Of course Two, you can. Uh, three, four, four full masteries as well. Uh, I mean, a path that's... isn't that far off, though. I, I've, he's on to Red Scrolls, so. Pretty crazy as well, man. And... You have to remember, I, I got to Minotaur 15 on, I can't remember what day it was, but it was 
very quickly. I, I only had Gallic at 60, and I was able mm. to farm it since then. So I bought my second set with Runda, and since then I farmed it. And that yeah. was do you, less than Do you have a gem mine? No, your gem mine's no, not no, unlocked no. at all. I, I basically, I decided that I wasn't going to get the gem mine until after the first, well, after the February fusion, if I wanted to go for it. Obviously, you can see my gem count now. So <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to go for it now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. But you've also yeah, I am looking them, at so... the Doom Priest. Sorry, someone in chat said looking at the Doom Priest. I have a six star perfect soul Doom Priest again. <laughs> and what, and you're free to play? On my free to play, I've got a six star perfect soul Doom Priest. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at the Doom Priest here and I'm like, well, that could be my soul. I'm looking at a Paragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. Uh, that's my cheat for Nether Spider. Also, I want one now. Never has basically the three, like, apart from Cold Heart, like the best rare voids that you need yeah, but, an account. I mean, yeah, I do, but none of them are useful at the moment. So, apart from Paragon. True. Yeah, yeah, most jealous you... about here is a law. My gosh. The thing is, you yeah, say that's that, what I was going to say. Build a law, law. You, need, you need to build her fast, you need the accuracy, you need the crit rate, and you need her to survive, especially when Finite 15, uh, 20 is negative affinity. She needs to be tanky, and I just don't have the gear to do that at the moment. So she's going to be waiting for a while. But when you do, he actually has better champion than a lot. What's so good about her is she doesn't require books, so it's like a great yeah. champion that doesn't need. Yeah, like, yeah. Apart from gear, the investment's really low. This is, um, yeah. this is an underrated champion as well. Hundred percent for a free to play account. I know for you, you've got probably different options, but Corpse Collector on on my account right now would be like probably my next six star. Honestly, poisons. <laughs> Decent chance to land. Yeah, leech ability. Yeah, it, she would have been for me, but Deacon brings leech already, so it didn't seem that valuable. Uh, whereas Fenchy, obviously, if you look, look at his kit, it's perfect for Finite, which is why I've been able to push Finite quite hard. Yeah, what I guess this has been a big surprise from your account you. for me. Yeah, without a doubt, Deacon carried me. Why is he not carrying Seth then? I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, he does, anyway. I don't have a Ronda soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can give you many examples. I don't have a Paragon to get me past ages. He didn't have the Gallic. That's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Harrison is a thief of joy, Safira. Yeah. <laughs> but this this Fenchy pool, like, I've never really I don't I don't think I've ever built a Fenchy myself and I just keep seeing him popping up in your teams and I'm like, what's he actually do then? Triple hit. His A two is again. insane. Look at this, two turns. Such cooldown. a good A two. Two turn cooldown decreasing target turn meter basically by forty five percent. Right, it's almost a version of a law already. The A three is insane as well. If you get enough poisons up on a target, it's one of the hardest hitting clan boss abilities on an epic champion. It's so on great. clan boss, he's maintaining probably around four poisons at a time. Yeah, if you can get um, another poison on it, it's it's insane damage. If you can get to ten poisons. And what else stands out for me? So obviously you've got the deke and you've got the leech. You've got absolutely like free reign on gearing. Yeah. For clan I do want Fenchy in to, um, I do want Fenchy in life still soon, which he'll go into Gallic Gear as soon as I can get an accuracy ban of him. Because Gallic Gear doesn't have enough accuracy on it. So, in terms of pools, then, in terms of the luck, luckometer, you've got you haven't looked plenty at of souls. <laughs> you've got, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll look at that in a sec. You've got, you've got <laughs> lots of souls. You obviously started with a Deke. Um, you've got Fenchy, Gorgorab, Corpse Collector just sitting by the wayside, a law, don't need a law, Doom Priest and Old Hermit. But you don't have extra legendaries here. So it's not like I haven't got any legend oh, I've got Randa, obviously, yeah. Yeah, but it's not like you've had insane. I, I wouldn't say I've had insane levels. luck. I'd, I would say for later on, I've had very good luck because obviously having the two void rares that I'd want in um Renegade and um Painkeeper. Yeah, Painkeeper. Yeah. Um, obviously, a lore will be massive later on. Doom Priest will be too once I've got kind of more of a team to build around with her. Um, I wouldn't say I've had massive luck though in terms of progression champions. Yeah, uh, it does feel a bit more to me like you are making. Yeah, actually, I agree with Ivy Lee. Apothecary and I oh, actually would have said Apothecary and Deke together are so great to have early, but Gordrab as well. Definitely, you've pulled some good champions to keep teams on the move. And, oh, absolutely. And then I feel like you've made the most of the champions that yeah. you've got, honestly. You've really pushed your account to its limit based on what you've pulled. But this is crazy. Look, stage 17, finite, three weeks in. That's actually insane. Stage 20, dragon. Mm -hmm. Are these full auto? Yeah, uh, you're yeah, stage 20? Yeah, dragon. 20. What the hell? 
Uh, 20 it's dragon. Not consistent. I did try and run it again, and I lost uh, Fenshi on wave two, which obviously was my main source of damage. But the first try I did it, it was full auto. It actually puts me as number one community instead of just <laughs> our challenges. So nice. Still on Spider Ten. Yeah. And, and Ice uh, Golem Thirteen. Yeah, La Lady H is ahead of me on Ice Golem, and that's awesome. I think we're nice. gonna keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually very cool. No, it's really good, man. So let's let's get the poll going then. How lucky has never been. I was I I was quite amazed that I managed to. I once I did um is it nineteen that was negative affinity for my fantasy? I figured I'd give it a try. And it worked. So I, I honestly I was close to doing um fine like eighteen. Um but it's negative affinity for fantasy again. So I feel like we're on similar champion level, but I feel like your souls are really, really big. And they're not necessarily like you're talking about Fire Knight Shield. All of your champions have got Phantom Touch. So getting that shield down to begin they, with, and then when Fenchy takes over, it's yeah. very strong. You yeah, get so them thrown out there on different dragons. Obviously, bosses. my Gallic came from the Gallic Path event. Yeah, so I obviously. wouldn't consider that one luck. But yeah, the Fenchy and the Apothecary having Phantom Touch definitely helps. Yeah. And like Paragon will get you through some of those. Like w what I've noticed on the free to play is there's certain things you just get stuck on. Like, you know, the classic ones, which is boss 12 7 on Brutal and different things like that. And you've yeah. got the right champions that can kind of abuse and, and cheese your way through those different stages. Uh, I'd call it clever use of mechanics, really. But yeah. Right. <laughs> Very much. Right. Let's have a look at this poll. I'm happy with that. I wouldn't say I've been really? particularly lucky. Yeah, I, honestly, the I wouldn't thing is, say. people undervalue uh, epics in the early game. They're so much better than legendaries. Yeah. Like, well, if you, you don't have the box, them. it's like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like a rare. It really depends on the champion. Really yeah, there are some the that are really good, but like most I think that's so much easier to work and don't crazy do take. Three years. Four star 27. I, who's, so who they said lucky, is luckier out Saf and Never there? They're actually, Where they think, think Never is that? luckier than Saf based on that, based on what they've seen so far in pools. I think mean, Saf's talked that one out actually a bit. <laughs> 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 it's a clever use of game mechanics. I, I think it's a case of people are probably <laughs> not. Like I value souls incredibly high. I think souls are more powerful than anything else in this game. I um, think you. I I seriously think because you've the comments we've had, the, the conversations we've had. Yes, I won't deny Ronda's brimstone does a lot, but I really think you undervalue how much damage she's doing outside of that. Yeah, like, Ronda's trash. A lot of it. No, 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 I'm giant slayer. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I die on that. Really good. <laughs> she's really good. She, the damage she brings with Giant Slayer and all of those ally attacks in Clan Boss and Fire Knight is actually absurd. Uh, I, yeah. I promise you, I could probably take off that... I'm not going to do it, because why would I? But I could take off that Brimstone and I still feel comfortable <laughs> that I could 2-keep her to... I mean, yeah, just, just want to say... You've got I know... <laughs> like, you've got... Exactly. Well, you know, but... you, I'm not saying that she's the key to your teams, but what I'm saying is the fact that you've yes, got Phantom Chess on everyone, you've got Brimstone, you've got the right champions, like, that does make a big difference, I think, in terms of like your ability to get through some things like you if, where you're like really close to losing those ma those masteries and blessings are going to get you over the line well i mean the, the, the thing that i'd say is lucky in inverted commas is getting the apothecary early everything else mm. you know he's using the champions at his disposal got. i've actually yeah. 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 using them really well but apothecary is massive very early on I, i've had um, two apothecaries and i felt really bad to feed one but i did oh it. god <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Get him out of the chat. Revote. <laughs> <Five. laughs> uh, I just want to call out here. I know Billups is in chat right now. He did say, can we check out Billups and Wix's accounts as well? I don't know if we're going to get time today, but check this out. Nightmare, Clan Boss, three weeks in. Wow. Billups, three key in Nightmare. And Wix looks like he's about, well, he's going to be a four key Nightmare, I guess. But that's actually nuts. So can I just point yeah. out, it if they're already on Nightmare, if they had an ally protector, my statement about Ultra Nightmare within a month, it's not that impossible. So Maybe. What we're it is, it is a massive step up, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is well, a massive step up you, I'm, I'm nowhere near Ultra Nightmare at all. Gear-wise, like, I survived to like turn 13 or something on Brutal. There's no way I can get close to surviving Ultra Nightmare in the next week. You know, yeah, one thing with having an ally. Do you know with one thing with having an ally protector as well? This early in is if you don't have the gear, they get hit and smack so easily. Yeah, like I've seen your Taragi, it just falls yeah. over. It just it's falls over. Next. Like yeah. even I've got I've got him pretty stacked as well, and he's yeah. just getting smacked around. Yeah, let's get let's get lockers on. Lockers coming up next.
Here we go. <laughs> Get ready. We're going to vote sure, one, right? Are you sure you want to do this? Straight in for oh, a we're vote. We're doing it. <laughs> no <laughs> chance. If somebody doesn't vote you... five, they don't know what this game is all about. <laughs> I legitimately I'm voting one. That. Can we I... can we get a rating of six for Jack? <laughs> Jack, uh, Lockers has got his camera on. Do you want me to bring you in so we can see yeah, it? Can do. Anyone else could do this as well below. If anyone wants to come in on cam, when it's their go, you are welcome to. Right. What else okay, he's so happy. <laughs> like... He's like well, so happy about this life. <laughs> you can't wipe the smile off your face. <laughs> Could you? But for anyone who hasn't seen it, it I, I don't know if this goes out in the YouTube video. We're going to try and clip the locker's reaction at this point to his shard pull because it's actually really funny. Um, I just can't believe you left it at the very end of his video. I skipped through it. Like, did this yeah, actually yeah. happen? <laughs> oh God! I agree. It's, it's also the fact he called it about three times. During the video, he's like, yep. oh, if I just pull this and I get Chris, it'd be so good. Oh, I've got yep. the soul to Chris, it'll be so good. It was, it just was like, so good. <laughs> he's baiting it up all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> right then, um, so let's have a quick look around. So you, you've actually got four shards in the bank. That's not like That's you. That's the most I've ever had, ever. <laughs> Why are you not on the YOLO? What's, what's changed? Well, do I need to? <laughs> Give up now, right? You oh, can apart apart like, from a poisoner, course. apart from a poisoner, that's all I'm missing. Put Chris in a toxic. <laughs> You're done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get to your champs in a minute. I see how. Okay. This is a different approach. What's going that's on? The best approach. I just. <laughs> is this... I, I had champions all over the place. Oh. I just didn't want to leave it, so I just, you know, filled it. Is this an impatience thing? I just saw it was empty and I thought, ah, uh, I feel that. <laughs> this feels like a, a definite patience thing. It's like, I really want to do something. What can I do? Uh, yeah. Have I got enough? Oh, no, not quite. I'll check the next one. Uh, yeah, I didn't have enough for that one. Why is resistance at three out of ten? Um, because I needed to resist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how do I stop pulling this my shots? I go do something else. Hold on. Hold on. When you get one silver, this screen is going to be so triggering for a very long time. Oh yeah, but I'll go through it. Just yeah. keep going. <laughs> and have you had any luck with souls? Let's have a let's have a look. Um, oh. I'll say reasonable. Oh damn! Look at this. Look at this <laughs> disgusting <laughs> uh, account. I'd say reasonable. You're you're poisoner. Look at that <laughs> one. Two legendary. Yeah, yeah, but he needs books. He needs books. Maybe you've got two legendaries. <laughs> oh yeah, my god. What the? We've got thing about needing to book their S tier you've champions. Even... Like, what is? You've this? even got Ugo and Apothecary. Like, <laughs> they're okay. They're okay. <laughs> I was going to feel bad that you'd get, uh, everybody would just be all, you know, oh, he's got Chris at the six star and <laughs> realize he had all the know. other, all the other junk going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Orn, we've got Chris, we've got a Raf Matab, who I think is actually pretty damn he's, good He's better for... than I thought he was. He's better than I thought. He could Bond solo combo if he's right? unbooked for Lord of the Rings. pretty good, right? You, you booked him before you booked Chris? Uh, Do you not watch the video? Do you not watch the video, Saf? Come on. Five minutes before it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it literally was like yeah, like ten minutes. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll book him up and then pull oh, my the, boys. Yeah, that's, like, a oh. mistake, isn't it? that's the only yeah, one yeah. thing I can say that I've done. I've not used any of my legendary books ever. <laughs> if you get a renegade, you might even be able to make an unkillable with draft my tab. Instead of a skull crusher. Blair, Blair Blair chat, oh, really? like, don't you realize how Hades uh, grew a beard for Krisk? And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, believe well, yes, you go as well. Avoid. You got Ugo as well. I'm you've got your apothecary not getting any love for the like. Yeah. Oh, he's quite he's recent. A he's recent. Uh, he doesn't really need him now that he's got Chris. Chris does increase speed. Oh, he's got the Chris turtle. does everything. He just literally can have a sentence. It's like, oh, he's got that. Doesn't matter. He's got Chris. That does that. <laughs> it's like, oh, he hasn't got a decrease <laughs> attack. Doesn't matter. He's got Chris. Like and so, talk us through the other the other pulls then. So you've got a Rathma tap here. Was when did you decide to pull shards for him? Uh, I think that was the ancients, the two times ancients. So you got him early, and, and Udo, was that just random pulling, or was that during an event? That was a sacred, I want to say. Uh, no. Uh, that was in the two-for-one sacreds. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the same yeah, as the Orn right. as well. Yeah, both of those are sacred shots. Yeah. Damn, Orn is so big. Like, a rock room 2.0. So, such a good it's champ, a big, especially as you get a bit later one. on. What's with the blessing? Good lord. Four stars? Yeah, I got a bit lucky on that one. Although, I would say, like... Four star. Born in a raw room as a type yeah, of champion. Yeah, a bit lucky on that one. Matter. So it's nice, but I actually think those types of champions that do like poison damage, there's not any blessing that really helps them because you don't really do any damage. You don't really need to like, it's, it's very low value there. Yeah, I, I think we, 
I actually I saw your video when you were deciding what to put on or one and you actually looked at hellhades.com good job yeah that was um, a great website I, that one <laughs> and I saw the pick and I was like I probably wouldn't have picked that in this situation just because oh, really at this moment in time you're probably short on accuracy yeah, like, I would yeah. just go stats but and that's probably just like a, a fall down completely of the website is that it, it can't know your position mm. it can't know your situation and I don't really know how we would ever fix that, but this is the the long term pick because when when he's like soloing stuff, it just takes less damage, right? Um, it, it's survival instinct, or it's, it, we actually talked about it when we were talking about lessons. Really, we were saying like, oh well, if it's level four, it's great. It's like for, um, crushing rend. If it's if it's rank six, it's awesome. If it's not rank six, it's like eh, it's not so good. Yeah. Uh, but this is actually really huge for clan boss more than anything else. Faultless Defense is the best traditional clan. Like, if you're in a, a non-unkillable team, it's, like, huge in clan boss because of affinity. Mm, yeah, that's true. And then, obviously, the Chris then. So, Chris, not only did you pull Chris, but let's be honest. Like, we're talking about luck here. If there was any way to make your own luck, you pulled during a 10 times Chris. Does that count as luck? Or making your own smart luck? Smart moves. That that as... Smart moves. And my Mercy was currently at five, so... Oh! Five! <laughs> so you wanted the 50! <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking the Mercy count. I was like, ooh, it's nice five there. We'll pull there. <laughs> that is like top tier efficiency, that. Yeah. yeah. I've Bravo. got written down Bravo. on an envelope. <laughs> and you've also picked up the brimstone. Yep. Oh, that's disgusting that you've got the brimstone as well. Absolutely disgusting. So talk us through then what you're doing with gems because I see you've got nearly 700. That's fully maxed. You've got a max gem mine. So you went max gem mine yeah. rather than buy masteries? Uh, bought masteries first, then max gem mine. Bought on just on one, though, yeah? <laughs> how, many, how many masteries did you buy? Just the one on Nafal. The rest of them. That's what I'm farming right now. That's where my energy's going right now into masteries. Just for those one, four. Two rank sixes. Yes. So you got, yeah, two six but stars. Got a yeah. yeah. Yeah, you yeah. need rank sixes. You've got a crisk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, That's this what I wish I would have done with my gems. It's the difference, like, we've obviously got people like um, Odwin and Never have put all their gems into more champions, more masteries. More six stars, Not... basically, haven't they? They've gone progression, yeah. progression, progression. Progression, yeah. This potentially is the, the long-term game. Yeah, I should have played for the luck. I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to waste your time in a farm uh, I think I'm going to start over. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. over. Maybe get a crisp. Okay, well, let's go into the vote then for lockers. <laughs> don't forget the six. Don't wanna, forget the six. On the auction for this one. Um, <laughs> oh, so I just put five hundred percent. Remove one. Remove one. There's lockers. no need for it. Let, let's be honest. If if we all in this chat instantly were like, okay, if you could pull, pull one champion on your free free to play champion before we started this, I would imagine mo like at least half of us would have gone. A Chris would be lovely. Hundred percent, of course. You know, the only other ones that might come in into it is, is something like. Um, Something Duchess. like a Yumiko, maybe, or a Duchess, right? Which is like really hard carry, like deletes a lot of content. But yeah. I am often asked, asked actually. I'm, I'm often asked in stream, like, if, if, you well, get, if you were to get if you were to get a champ to start with, who would it be? And my answer is generally Chris. Like, and people yeah. say, yeah. what about Easy. Duchess and that? And I feel like Chris is the carry yeah. early on. Duchess is great, but Chris will carry you absolutely everywhere in the game. That's e that's actually a pretty easy call when it comes down to it. It just gives yeah. you so much that like, you need in the early game. Like Duchess is really niche good, and like late game she gets really OP. But in the early game, like she all she is is really a, a reviver and a and a block debuffs. It's not that it's not like she's giving you like decreased defense, ally protection, decreased mm -hmm. attack, um, decreased speed, uh, increased defense of himself, increased so speed. Much. Like it's just you know buff extension, continuous heals. All the things that you normally struggle in the early game that I've noticed, like coming from a, a late game where like champions just die and affinity is an issue, he's void, just he ticks yeah, every yeah. box. Okay, let's see what the poll came out as on this one. I think Lockers has <laughs> 16 friends in chat and they voted yeah. for one. Or they've got it the, other, the wrong way around. But we have got <laughs> Lockers coming in with 87% as a six. I don't get why. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the ones? That is... I love it. I love it. It's a one. Rolls. Yeah, I, I love it. I think that's pretty much bang on. Um, although saying that, right? So odd one has the same amount of legendaries. Not a void legendary. Yeah. But not a void legendary. Yeah. And yeah. odd one had fifty-four percent five, whereas Lockers has got 
87% six. Smart filling on a 10 times though. I, I think it's basically, again, like it's the Void Legendary with the Brimstone. Like the pairing together is just so strong. Plus an Orden with a four star awakening. Like that's, you can't answer yeah. that. And little cheeky, I'm not even using two brilliant rares, honestly. The Butcher. Yeah, Butcher. I would love great. to have the Butcher. Yeah. Um, and obviously Apothecary, always really helpful at the start. But I guess the other thing is like, what are you doing with it so far? Yeah, because... Well, I'm just getting Masteries right now before I do anything else. Yeah. Which is I not a bad shout, it's honestly. Seeing. It's not a bad yeah. option. Have you tried to push anywhere else? Actually, 14 dragons Only on not hard enough. Like, I haven't done gear enough to make it work. I, that's just throwing gear for now. Just yeah. while I get my Masteries set and then get some silver going. You're actually probably like looking at your account where you are unlucky is you don't have an awful lot of turn meter control or multi hitters. Like you've got a an apothecary. So like for, for places like Fire Knight, you know, when we look at like my account and Chris um, is trying to stay you down right now, so <laughs> when you look at like my account and other and like um Never's account, we've got loads of multi hitters and poisoners, whereas what you probably lack actually is a lot of multi hitters. You say that, but Aethel's triple, Ronda's well, yeah, could be quadruple, yeah, yeah, Rathmatab's actually. got reflect. I'm trying. They I'm do, trying to reduce poison. your luck here. I'm it's trying just to make it nice. Not powerful. Working. It's, it's, it's uh, I need a better poison. Don't worry. Yeah. Like, the other rare, like Avir. When when we were talking about this the other day, Avir the Archimage is actually a great rare as well. Like totally underrated. Agree. Yeah, I need to work him. But Marsh yeah. is more important right now for the bigger champs. I guess it's it's six I'm... stars on Marshes, and then your account will it, or should explode. Like yeah, you've should. got. <laughs> yeah. You've got the absolute bare bones. Go I think. I think you're approaching this. 100 percent the way you should right like if i had to do it over again i'd buy masters on one champion and open my gem mine that's obviously like you know the choice part where we're all making how do we use our gems but like yeah you got your you got a couple six stars you're spending your time in mastery so that when you're ready to get the other ones up you're not you know you're not like the a lot of us that are uh you know wasting time in dungeons that we have no business wasting our time in just to uh prove a point and uh eventually at the end hey. of this you you might be standing on top there. Hey, I'm, I'm talking that, about myself. I'm not even referring to anybody else. Just talking about myself. We, had, we had a fun time on your stream, wasn't it, Dad? Where you put you put Alva in. I was like, hang on, hold my beer. Let me just go do another dungeon quickly. <laughs> back, yeah. back when not, it was, uh, uh, it was what, Definitely two weeks not ago? quickly. But yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. I, I do enjoy your strategy. It's a very interesting strategy you've got. <laughs> it's like this, nobody could predict the path that you've taken. Hmm. I really like what you did, though, Lockers. I, I just think it's a really, Thank really you. Uh, smart approach to this. Would it have paid gonna... off if you didn't get Kresk there? Uh, I can't complain about my other champs, though, really. Like, even if I got a rare void, like, rubbish, Harry or whatever, the other champs I've got are still good enough to progress yeah. in the game, I feel. I, I, I think I would trade, even if there was no Kresk, I would trade accounts. Yeah, I, I think it's... Like, yeah. Yeah, I've seen wise. your accounts, of course you would, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 that is what yeah. I'm most impressed about. Like, Are you I've, sure you don't I'm, want a deacon from the ten times? Oh, don't tempt me like that. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm really desperate benefit. for one of these weekend champs. But when you've already got Udo and Chris and Chris, of course, yeah. But <laughs> you're like, who cares? Who cares who's on the ten times this week? <laughs> um, well, I guess time will tell. Like in a couple of weeks' time, once those masteries are in, once you've got a couple more six stars, are you progressing? As you should be. That's the question, isn't it? Like, have you caught back up to Never, who is absolutely smashing it right now? Mm. Yeah, well, I don't game. know how he's doing it with the like, Check. yeah, with what he's got. That's what I don't understand. Because when yeah. I run auto with this team, it just flops. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I, I gotta say, I've never run manual so much in Doom Tower. Doom Tower, I'm like, I yeah, Doom just... Tower, I've had to manual. It's so yeah, you, you've got to take oh, control of when the abilities land, and you know to get further. But well, mini because twenty the minutes AI of manualing the Nether Spider to actually pass it. I had to RNG the nukes. If I did the manual, right. it I could never pass it. 
Yeah. So the, the AI is the problem, really, because, you know, our starters like to use their AOE big nuke ability when the, the last enemy has like 10 HP. And you're just like, yes. great, thank you. That's great. Wonderful. Okay, let's switch out then. So Lockers currently is winning the luck poll. Thanks, Lockers. I'm real that I got a six when no one else was on a six, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a six, you'd have a 92% of this life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was a couple of ones, couple of ones. <laughs> you know you paid for what? those, though. Your friends can leave now, your friends can leave. Yeah. Locker changes his name to six. We just call him six from now on. Yeah, luck is six. Although luck I would is, say you've luck. now got insane pressure. Because if you can't progress with a Chris, everyone's going to be like, you know, expecting you to do a lot more. At the start, though, with the well, Deacon, it. I mean, Kale, yeah. It's the same pressure. Everyone expects this yeah, because you've yeah. got the OP picks now. You, you're just going to walk through it. And actually, it, it's, it's a lot more than just champions, right? There's a, there's a mm -hmm. balance. It does help a lot. I'm not going to say, like, you know, there's no way anyone could defend not having a Chris and not being able to progress. But you still need, like, gear. You still need the right setups, the right sort of planning and strategy and stuff. It's not, Thank like, you. just put Chris win game. Wait, yeah. it's not? It pretty much is. I've been doing, <laughs> I've been doing things wrong. <laughs> Have you checked Chris's kit? <laughs> Have you checked his kit? <laughs> right. We're going to jump on to... I think we're going to go on to Fix's account now. You're going to have fun no. with this. I feel, for, I feel for Fix. He has. Fiction's been a bit quiet in the old, like... Well, there, there's much. a let's reason call for it, that. But let's, let's call it the boasting chat, yeah? Let's not call it anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah, got a chat. A... It only gets posted in when someone's absolutely just ruined part of the game, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, so uh, I, I've I've um I've been progressing. Uh, however, <clears throat> I've also been running a company at the same time. Uh, so my <laughs> days have been exceptionally no, no, that's not that's not busy. enough. Wow. That's not good enough. Um, so this week, this, well, this this week especially, I haven't really had a lot of time to play because it's the end of the month and it's always busy. Uh, so I've just basically been farming food, and and that's it. And as you can see from my champions, I have very little ability to do anything but farm food at this point. Well, let's have a little look around. So still in Silver 4 Arena. Yeah. Oh, what is dream. that because you're deliberately staying there or just not really been doing a lot of Arena? I haven't been pushing anything at all. I'd love to be in Silver 4. Yeah. So we've got two six stars. You've gone for your starter and then... Was your starter Kale or Elhane? No, it was Elhane. Yeah. So you basically, you've done the same thing. Literally the day that I 60'd Elhane, I pulled Kale. And I just got the masteries for her as well. And oh. yeah, I wanted to cry a little bit. Um, that hurts. But saying that, I mean, yeah. you've got here a Banshee, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. You've got a Quargan who's actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's like, not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. And so I got, got the Royal age. Guard, who will be mm. good in, in the future, but just not right now. And Franox. Yeah. I love Franox. Mm. Franox is very good. I one person you who I, I would love, by the way, is amazing. Dithy, yeah, uh -huh. I, I would love this champion oh, on my account. Quality. Oh, he's pretty solid. I've been yeah. impressed. No, he's, he's cool. He's still got his head as well. Good old William Wallace. What else have we got here? <laughs> Franox, what's Franox like? Any good? Deeply attack A1. Yeah. It's a no. deeply attack. Yeah, but it's a 50% chance. Yeah, but it's A1. It's still a 50% chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a bad clan boss champ though for the for the early stuff. Yeah, it, I mean it's okay. However, I'm using Lizard Man, uh, who does a baby uh, decrease attack and a baby ally protect in clan Ooh. boss at the moment. Cage, cage bound, I like. Yeah, cage bound. Yeah, he's good. He's, for Earth, he's, like, he's cool. this part of the game, he's really. I like good. him. I like yeah. him a lot. Hundred percent chance. Uh, yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, actually not bad. Actually not bad. So how how do you feel like your luck has been then since? Starting out, have you just been YOLO and uh, well, a shard whenever I, you get I it? I decided that in general, I'm I'm way too lucky at everything, so I just kind of let everyone else be lucky this time. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. But I I don't I don't know. I I think in general, if we weren't in this competition and I wasn't seeing stuff that everyone else was getting, I would be pretty happy with it. But when I compare it to what other people are getting, I don't feel particularly lucky. But in general, the the account's fine. It's kind of where I expect an account to be three weeks in, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm still doing like these uh, challenges and stuff so that I can actually get yeah. um, shards and things. So like you're, you're, you're actually behind everyone. Which well, is, yeah. well, you're exactly where I am in campaign challenges, uh -huh. missions. Like we're actually exactly the same spot on missions. Oh really? Are, okay. Yeah. So I'm no further than that. And and actually, 
well, I'm no further than you in dungeons and challenges either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, and and you're exactly the same place as me on campaign. So yeah, in terms of the amount of shards we've had each, we're in exactly the same spot. I think, apart from maybe the odd ancient. I mean, you've got a decent amount of epics, really, for three weeks in. You just you haven't yeah. put gold, which always feels bad. Otherwise, I, I I think my account's probably a true reflection of just a a, a a normal account at this point in the game. In in yeah, I I just I just feel like it's it's nothing special. It's, stuff, it's certainly nothing to really moan about. As I said, I've got the Royal Guard, which later on is going to really come in, into play. People are saying Gembo, he was from the Prime Reward, so everyone can get him. Um, yeah, and you got a soul from though, which is. Yes, I, I did. I, I picked that up today, actually. It was quite nice. Yeah, it's a one-star really soul nice. on a Gembo worth much. Mm, I don't know. I'd have gone better, better than not having it. Yeah, I mean, I just, I'm just saying, like, for a, a damage dealer, it's not really until you get to that five and six star that they really make... Defense. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> oh, look at me! <laughs> 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 I would have just gone Phantom Touch. I, think uh, just... I will throw it out here. Dead with man. <laughs> I, I, I actually I'm just... sorry, I just didn't realize how we think I'm just like, oh, this guy's gonna be great at arena. I'm like, nobody's over 60 levels. There's one percent of defense. I'm freaking hilarious. The worst I did, part is I did ask the awful. question actually to Safira as to what ma what blessing I should put on him. And he said, Well, they if you're only gonna use an too. arena, put crushing <laughs> rend on him. Yeah, if you're only ever gonna use an arena, there's no value in Phantom Touch because he's only single target. So at least you get like one percent. One percent. So I was like, all right, cool, I just chuck crushing rend on him. <laughs> and I, but I, I think we're gonna use him another place. <laughs> he's trying oh to screw God. you up. Trying he doesn't want to be bought with a list. <laughs> uh, oh, attack on all sides. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, in in, uh, in general, like I, d I don't feel like I'm I'm lucky. I, I just feel like it's an account, whatever you know. It's it's <laughs> I'm enjoying the competition, I guess. It's something different. Yeah, you don't I look at my it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like you're enjoying oh, the competition buddy. at all. I feel like we found the per the first person who's going to drop out of this competition right now. I won't <laughs> drop out. I won't drop out. But, yeah. Um. I mean, the nice thing that you've got is you know you've got like shards you can quickly get hold of. So if they, if you were borderline trying to get a fusion, like you've got those two sacreds just waiting there, which is nice. It's a nice feeling to have that if you just put a bit is of effort it? in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's if, let's if go into sacred, let's go into a them. poll. So how lucky? See, I'm trying to hype it up. Six. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You're really, you're really taking that tortoise and the hare story for uh, to heart, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I want to see at least everyone voting five here. <laughs> now we just go for the reverse psychology. Uh, <laughs> let's have a quick shout out while you voted. Thank you for the subs. Fierce Guacamole, uh, Timberwolf with the 29 months, Godsend Gaz, Mythical Celt with 31 months. Thank you so much. Padre, thank you for the cheer. Old school earlier. Velcho. Don't I like know, Deadbolt's that attitude. Mullet Reva missed it as well. Sorry, I missed those earlier ones. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So yeah, this how lucky will be great this? in a year. I like that. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. This account, like you say, is probably pretty much par for course for most people, right? It's yeah. just no gold yet. You've had just a... nothing special. In that's fact, the, you've had thing. quite a few epics. Really, I think yes. the epics are quite good. Yeah, the epics are epic for sure. Ah. Uh... I mean, you've got an yeah. AOE, you've got an AOE decreased defense. You've In got an weeks. enemy max HP. You have got sister militant as well, <laughs> and the militant two, <laughs> two, <laughs> two. <laughs> oh, wait till you see my account. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just like that. Oh, I'm freaking loud. Finally, <laughs> something I can compete with. There's some, I mean, food, uh, there's some food in the vault. Yeah. So also, oh, yeah, I mean, frozen banshees are really good rare too, right? Yeah. Like that's a yeah. pretty, that's a really solid pull. And not just for clan boss, where I know she's well known, yeah. but she's going to be really helpful in dungeons. As I mean, well. and as well, you like you got to contextualize it against the volume of shards you've had, right? So you've got that many epics from the fewer shards than everyone else. So actually, you've done quite yeah. well there. You know, you've got some that you could have picked something like a ripper yeah. or something terrible. You know, you could have got strong. I only see I, <laughs> I only see two? four four pulled epics. It's not so bad. Yeah. Right? How lucky is fix? Sixty two percent for a two. Twenty one percent for a three. I, I, I was expecting that. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, cool. Fix. Keep going, man. Keep going. It might I'll turn try. around. I'll try. Don't quit. <laughs> right, who's up we next? Believe we believe in you. Should we do yours? Sure. Let's do Lady H. Lady H next. I need Deadwood's laugh as my ringtone. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're really quiet drink. in the background. Yeah. First you get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Imagine going to like a like a super. Imagine it as you're like alarm clock. You'd be like. What are you laughing at? I wouldn't be stood in the queue at the bank and just have Deadwood go off in my pocket. I I love to tell people, you know, I've I've been an actor forever and uh, I I actually got a role in college where basically all I did was laugh. Like that was the entirety of my role. Uh, Just some old (laughs) uncle just going, oh, 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 oh." the whole time. It was great. Lady H, we've actually got a couple of things to to pull. Yeah. There's a soul sitting there. See how lucky I am right now. So this might completely change the number we're about to see. Like, Like lockers. You I believe. Do I don't, I don't want to do it's it. my luck, not yeah. yours. No not your stinking luck. luck. My luck's awful. It's bad yeah. mine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep me and Hell Hades away from sharp holes? Yeah. Do you want me to come in? Is that what you want? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keeping up that rare. There she goes. Oh. YOLO! <laughs> What's a farmable rare? Yeah. Well, we know this can't be a rare. Oh. oh. All right. That's a, that's a fusion champ. Ooh, that's a big. Oh, that's one. huge. That's huge. That's a big pull. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> that's a lie, right? No, no, no that's, really that's a really good pull. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Pool. good. It's probably three revives, right? Are we revives? Or is it two uh, revives? Two, two uh, random two man revive. Yeah. But it's a shield. It's the big. The thing. shield as well is yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah she's really. It's good. a support. The only the only reason why I wouldn't be like hyped here is because she does have Demar- uh, Demasa. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah, but what's the cooldown of the revive? I would say Melga's biggest issue is the number of books. Ooh, five turns. Ooh, five five turns for pretty awful one. as well, actually, mm. yeah. Ouch. But definitely not a, a bad one. You're, you're, not, <laughs> you're always hoping for a gold, aren't you? It right. doesn't make much difference, does it, really? No, no. Let's, um, I guess let's do your souls as well, quick. Put the Ronda on the wish list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on there right now. So, it's six star perfect soul incoming. It's basically like you get I a better chance of getting a certain champ. Uh-huh. There's my Tomb Lord. So There's my Ronda in there. Oh, we're giving away who you've got, but let's put these two in. Oh, oh this, is a, this is the way we should be looking at this. That's all I need. <laughs> what champions do you have? You can see right here. I see Sass favorite champion <laughs> there, the Jizzo. Oh, the oh, Jizzo. What a name. Oh, just that. So these souls, this is what Saf's saying is basically empowered Nevers account. Oh, mm-hmm. but you, it's random what you get. So Arcan you might not get the ones to your champs. Get... Yeah. Totally not useful. Yeah. It's an epic. Ender. Ender. Oh. Ender Moonbeam, right? That's the new that's one. That's a lot like Ruark, that's, this guy, doesn't he? That's the not mm. so good new one, isn't it? Mm. Cool. <laughs> or is that Cormac? Cool, <laughs> one, one of the Sylvan watches is not so good, right? Yeah, it's one okay. of them. Right? Okay, the Wishless Champion. Is that good? Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. Touch right there. Let's go. Okay. Take that. Definitely take that. Another mm. epic. Sinatia. Good champ, wouldn't you get her? Yeah. When? That's good positivity. Hmm. Hard to keep it upbeat. Oh god, why even Bane? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, oh. Okay. And then you do have a bigger one as well. So you've got a better chance of good stuff here. Okay. Six star legendary Ronda. Here it goes. Six star Ronda. That's what you want. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Uh, no. No. Oh, that's oh, oh, that's no. That looks like mine. Don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, oh, there's another yeah. one Most in the, um, the tier one us. coins. Oh, you can okay. buy another one, Hades, I think. Yeah, the 1600 tier one coins. You can buy the coins. Oh, yeah. Let's do so it. If you're, if you're collecting these up, you get these in like missions and oh, events right. and stuff. So you can go to the market, buy another one now and then. Another rare. Oh, Ooh, he's oh, actually a good rare, though. That's all right. So now, if I pull the I picked an Odachi. Oh, did you get so, one? Yeah, it's you will cool. see. This will go I have red one as well. If you've got one of them. you got everything odd one. I'd prefer a mark, <laughs> to be fair. Okay, so let's have a look around then. Great Hall. Yeah, I haven't really been in there much. Fiction level. I mean, 87% win rate with medals. That's actually cool higher one. than mine at the moment. There is quite a few medals there, though, to be yeah. used. Yeah, you've got more to actually pump up. <laughs> One. I thought you were just going to crack on. No. I was just seeing if you had enough. Well, I never know what the numbers Bosh, are. Bosh. But that's not too bad. Where have you been focusing your time? Um, Leveling and ranking Kale, basically. So just pretty much pretty campaign. Much. Yeah, I've been in Arena a bit. You've cleared all of 
end of brutal as well now. Yeah, that's how we're sacred, sacred today. Right, nice. Nice, that's nice, nice. <clears throat> you've not done any nightmare. No. And you've done some dungeons, haven't you? I've done a little bit of dungeons. Where have you been? Actually, I think I've been pretty much everywhere. Never said you were beating him in Ice Golemus. Yeah. So up to 10 on Finite. 12 on Dragon. This is a big, big one. 10 on Spider would be good. I don't like the Spider one. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I, don't, oh, I don't like the, the running and poking. Nobody and, likes ugh. the spider one. <laughs> the way you said that just took me back in time. That was, uh, yeah, yeah. We all understand that I, feeling. I like the spider one. I thought YST's phone was ringing again. <laughs> <laughs> I scored on 13. The amount of I'm going to get off this stream from Deadwood, I tell you. That's good. <laughs> you got 705 gems, so... What have you done with your gems? You've not done the gem mine. You've got uh, masteries. Yeah. And kale. Nice. So you bought both of their masteries with gems. Yeah. It's actually good. Two six stars, full masteries, masteries in three weeks. I do not know what oh. any of those masteries mean. That all came from the website. I don't have a clue. It's all right. Just, the website's pretty just good. Just so we know. Right. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's like... The average player. Most players do know. not understand masteries for a long time. They just copy mm -hmm. what other people have got. Yeah, I feel like my thing is I probably wouldn't ever really bother to learn. Yeah. Because it's right there. So do I need to? Only mm -hmm. when no, you get further. Uh. Like for, mainly for arena stuff, right? Arena is where masteries start to matter a lot more in, in endgame stuff. If you really want to play the game properly, like yeah, that's my thing. Probably, I feel like the real like deep and dirty stuff is probably not where I'm interested in it at all. <laughs> you heard it here Honestly. first. <laughs> 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 Don't clip that. Um, so, <laughs> oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk champions then so we've got Elhane six star kale which was a pull yep quite a lucky pull we'd say for a rare steel skull was one of your sacreds yep and then this week you've got a brawler yeah cheeky midweek ancient brawler that's quite lucky i'm not saving i decided i wasn't saving anything for anything yeah, called brawlers so i don't good. think anyone is saving anything uh, well, we haven't apart seen from Lockers, four Lockers. 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 I have four <laughs> ancients. <laughs> apart from the Chris Gona. <laughs> I have two ancients. But have you tried a run of Clan Boss since you've had the Brawler in no. the team? No. Because this will make quite a difference. Is that a, a six-star chest? What am I seeing there? It is a six-star oh my oh. God. HP. Oh, that, if you've got a triple roll now, that's oh, a Chaos, that's all right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, it could be a Chaos advising her. What's that? Has Frank been back? <laughs> <laughs> Frank's in charge of my gear, honestly. Yeah. Frank. I just He's choked. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes oh, you just got to make do with what you've got. Oh, it's there all... he is. It's all not great. Or a lot of it is not great. He's been away for too long. Frank... Don't continue oh, to go I through it. <laughs> Frank, Frank loves raid. What's the helmet like there on that steel skull? Which what? Sorry, the, the helmet. helmet there. Oh, it's not bad. Like you know, it's only nine speed, but early on having a speed set with nine speed is is like it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, look, we have got a one ninety speed yeah. champ here on as a five star. That's good. I actually think steel skull is a really good pick for an early game account. Still, I know it's an older champion, and probably people have moved oh. past it. It's so good for clan boss. Still, can I tell my can I tell my steel skull story? Steel skull yeah, is the he was my original poisoner on my clan boss team. He was my only poisoner. He got me through Ultra Nightmare. He's absolutely insane for early accounts. That increased defense is huge. The healing is huge. Uh, you can bring him in places like Ice Golem for his little cleanse ability. Like he's really, 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 really good. Mm -hmm. I definitely, I definitely am a big fan of Steel Skull. If you ever need help speed tuning with Steel Skull, you know who to call. I spent a lot of time with <laughs> <Okay>. that guy. <laughs> I've heard you're pretty good at clan boss, right? I'm okay at it. Uh, there's, yeah. you know, there's better options these days, but yeah, I've, I have a little bit of experience. I have my own, I have my own steel skull emote actually. I kept referring to steel skull as a she. So, so you have your own website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that we're talking about websites. There's this random website that does clan boss speed tunes. It's pretty good, you know. Even as a calculator, 
a really good one. Oh, yes, that yeah, Deadwood guy, Deadwood Jedi or something. I've heard it's good. Well, yeah, it's like it's it wasn't well, doing right? any of that to plug me. I just really like Still Skull. <laughs> I, I agree. I'm, I'm on the same. Pr- I, I really like Still Skull as well. I think he's he is power crept, but he is like, and you can oh, think is, yeah. even if you use him now, he's still like in, extremely strong for the faction as well. Like really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would love Steel Skull to get a buff um, to reduce the cooldowns and the increased defense. Yeah. I say, I mean, you get a heal, increased defense, be, a cleanse. Be like, huge. Imagine if, if that turned into a one turn block debuff, free turn or increased defense on a free turn. That'd be huge. I mean, you can still run it. That would be three, big. But yeah. I, I would mind just increasing the, the chance of poison on the A1. I think that would yeah. be pretty good too. Absolutely. Yeah. Just make a guarantee. I think either of those would make. Yeah, guaranteed. Or even 50%, I feel like, would be a pretty significant boost from the 35 Or make it like know. each hit has a chance, right? Which is what a lot of champions are these days. Each hit has a chance. It, is, it, do, it, it does is have each that. It just, I don't think it just it doesn't it read like hit. that, though. Is it? Yeah. It is each no, hit. It's, yeah. Just, yeah. it's just, just a large chance. Not. Yeah, they haven't reworded it, it hit, since DK. Oh, out. is it? Oh, yeah, okay. one of those old school yeah. ones. Right, should we jump into a vote then? So, Lady H. That's pretty nice. How lucky. Is there anything it's in the vault? It's improved since I last saw it. I like this. There account. is nothing in the vault. <laughs> no. But you know what? A cold brawler, one of the best poisoners in the game for clan boss without needing books. I yeah. Mean, that's that's yep. a huge pool for that account. It's huge. That is the thing. Like, yep. less, like I've come from like a, an end game. I haven't played a new account in so long. And the things you learn pretty early on is like, you, you can't just book a champion. You can't just 60 a champion. So anything you get is like, oh, if I don't have to book it, that's like even better than it ever was before, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think he just needs an ascension, right? A free star yeah. ascension to start pumping out the. You actually poisons. don't want even book him, right? Because book yeah, him makes him worse. Uh, yep. Not fully. Not fully. You just want one the is one. not lucky. Not Five is yeah. extremely lucky, guys. One unlucky. So, yeah, I mean, you're right. Brawler, massive pull this week. Yeah. Absolutely massive. And in fact, clan boss champions, still skull brawler, both really good for like long term clan boss here. I think what's again, really good about that is what's really good about that as well is because Steel Skull's poison is on such a low chance, there's no problem in bringing in the Accord Brawler so you're not overcapping because yeah, Steel yeah, Skull's yep. not going to overcap anyway, right? They're a perfect yeah. balance for each other, yeah. really. Is like between the two of them, you'll have a full debuff bar, but without really risking about like blocking out something more important. Yeah. I would say definitely getting Ronda ascended to three is like should be a priority. Is there a decrease attack champion on this account? No. Um... <laughs> Not yet. It's not yet. Is that something that everyone has coffin smasher earlier? Yeah, actually, I mean... but then it's possible they've been fed because I know you've been pretty generous at feeding your <laughs> rares. Medicus, isn't that one? I don't know if pretty generous, but I'm a few sure of Medicus them is one. <laughs> I've gone. I'll be sad if you fed a coffin smasher. <laughs> I've, 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 I don't even know Rev, what, what is Coffin yeah, Sasha? Night Rev? Night Rev. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. No, she hasn't. That. She hasn't. Okay. <laughs> I did see yeah. a Sentinel got fed, though. That was <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see what this poll has come out as for Lady H. <clears throat> um, I can't believe you fed Medicus. Two. Mm. What's Medicus? Two at fifty-one percent. Three at thirty-four percent. So you are so far slightly the most unlucky, according to chat. So far, wow. just a little bit more unlucky than Fix. And Fix was hamming his up big time. So <laughs> not quite. <laughs> I, I sold it well. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. And Where you've is? been in some plan, haven't you? Yeah. I said from day yeah. one that I was only competing with Rachel. So. <laughs> nice. uh, what you neither oh, of you have kind of quit yet either so you know it's yeah. a good thing up, up. There. oh there we are smashing hard good stuff oh, three weeks all right three weeks actually that good. good that's good <laughs> okay that is good Solid. beating lockers with crisk lockers crisk one yep can we like that's an wow. unascended that's an unascended Ronda as well. So that's like a lot of damage that could be just like instantly got from ascending Ronda to three for that passive. Yeah, so it's pretty then, good considering. True. So if I put a cult brawler in there, who do I take out? The master. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Unless you use it for the aura, right? But then Steel Skull's got the aura. To be honest, taking taking Jamaster out might actually push that to a two key if he's three, three yeah. star yeah. ascended. Yeah, three star I mean, ascended Ronda. Off yeah. you go. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look brawler. like a team that 
doesn't look like a team that survives very long anyway. So it's more just like, you know, how much as damage much can we damage do in as quick do, yeah. a part of time yeah. as possible. Poison the heck out of it. Yeah. That's good effort. Okay. Good effort. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, who we got next? Who's who we got still to go? Airbad. Airbad. Uh, Should we go uh, now? Let's do Airbads. King of Free to Play. Quiet. My comfort blanket when I'm. Yeah, I think really we're going to see uh, Airbad of like 15 to, sacred shards, 100 ancients. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> 24 <laughs> legendary um, books. <laughs> did anyone see Airbad's CVC score? I did. It was impressive. Yeah, it was huge. Uh, yeah, I saw we'll get into that actually. Day. How bad did it feel when we lost Airbad? Like, yeah, quite bad. Yeah. It's more than I usually. Airbad was like, name. everyone's going to be putting up 100k, and we were right. like, 20k. Oh my god! <laughs> and trying as thanks well, for, by the way. Thanks for the carry. Yeah. Did, did you win your training tournament in the end? I know you said you were being pushed I, hard I did, by someone. Yeah. Still has shards. Oh yeah. Pull them. <laughs> right. This is this is the alternative way of playing. This is not the year of the YOLO for Airbad. So talk us through your your strategy here. Well, I mean, I'm basically playing it the exact same way I play the main. Save everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, like, I, Did you not I feel like I played, I played in a painful way for three years? I'm just going to go and have some fun. <laughs> Do you not feel that way? I don't know. I, I, I've picked my times. So I've won two training tournaments and I've won the tag team. So I've won three times, won six-star relentless gear. I mean, it's basically all trash, but I've won a lot of it. <laughs> so eventually yeah. that's got to got to start working for me. <laughs> Did you just but, sell it all? Or... Oh, no, no it's there. <laughs> you can click through it. Like, oh my god, look at all that gear, man. Oh, the flat stats. It's... Frank would love this. Oh. Frank wow. would love some of this. I think it's, it's worth wow. keeping hold of in case you get Chaos or one day. Like, if I get like, a lot of Chaos or then... Oh, this could have been so good. It Look could at have this. been so good, but it, oh, it missed. This could have been so good. It's still actually not bad for this it's level of account. It's not bad, but it's, it's a lack of speed. Oh, wow. This one's like that. Hello? Fancy that's rolling me? Quadro HP. <laughs> so that's one of the pieces I got today, right? It's the <laughs> right. champion training only finished today. So, I can roll your um, gear for you. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> but like most of it has no speed. Not, no, so. I'll tell you what. This is not that bad, though. Like, this is not rolled badly. Look at it's, this. It's not bad, but it's problematic if you don't have speed on any of the pieces. Yeah, I was just looking at this. There's no speed in any of them. Maybe like two pieces. You can accept one piece not having speed, but the gloves have no speed. The weapons both have no speed. The and accuracy no speed. as well. Like, it's, it's a problem to actually get a set. But bear in mind, we don't have maxed great halls right now. So yeah, yeah. I mean, our, obviously you're playing the long game, but so like, you've got some pieces in there that might stick around. Yeah, um, particularly if we get lots and lots of chaos all <laughs> i'll just yeah, keep waiting we do love I'll throwing it in tournaments and eventually it will come my way look at this guys i mean it makes you realize how much stuff we've pulled Whoa. when you look at this this is I'd... not no. all of us <laughs> well i wonder how many you've had though not without realizing when, when you just pull the odd one here and there you don't realize they're coming in i bet you've had at least 25 no way yeah but you, you just pull any shard I pulled you 12 ancients in the first two X. That's you're, it. You're oh my god! A you you can get a guaranteed engines. next week. Can this we is crazy. In a this is actually crazy. Three weeks he in. He hasn't even tried. I think he did that on purpose so we cannot <laughs> vote. Yeah. But you still yeah. Have, to have a look at what I've done with just the 12 shards. Solid yeah, pulled. but I feel that like that's not luck. That's just. Oh yeah, let's skill. have a look at that sexy <laughs> roster. Yeah. Oh, it look oh wait, today. hang on. <laughs> Okay, oh, Mystery yeah. Commander, never mind. So you've got three six stars. Ooh, what a poll. Yeah. Miscreate mm. Monster in there as well. You've got a Frozen Badgie. I mean, really, I don't feel like your account's much different than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you've still got everything. Shot. You've still got it all, and I've got nothing, and I feel like we're in a similar spot. Does he have anything in the vault? Food, probably. This is Airbad we're talking about. No. Still go. a few, ep a like, yeah, a few epics. Yeah, a few epics. Oh, that one hurts. That terror? Oh, that one hurt me. Beast and Talia. Two of the that episodes. hurt me a little bit. <laughs> how, how many grey bids have you got now? Your army of grey bids. I, I got rid of one. <laughs> I've got four now. Wow. Crazy. And then we've got a reserve vault of a chunk of epics in there as well. Uh, rares no, in there no, as epics. well. They're just rares. Mystery shards so, and, um, and farmables. So you're going for the technique of... and I'll tell you what, I've not done this a single time yet. This is terrible gameplay. I haven't... Put anything in a faction guardian yet mm -mm. and i see that you're starting to build yours out obviously on your the champions that you're using yeah yeah Aethel and war maiden i'm trying to get them up 
when I can. Yeah, which does. I mean, it just makes complete sense. I, I don't know why I've not even started to do it, but it makes Wish complete I could sense. Do that this is a lot of stats. Gun. Okay. It helps, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Like we said, we don't have we don't have um, that massive like build great halls, so these are actually quite a lot of stats we get quite quickly. Yeah, that's uh, very clever. I mean, it, it should be a no brainer, but it's actually very clever to do it. I see a great hall then. So you're kicking gold two. It's hell. Like honestly, yeah. I, I should have stayed in silver four, gold one. I was oscillating between the two, and that was like a nice, comfortable place where I could just use my tokens. Now it's it's so hard. You yeah. refresh like five times and you maybe get two fights you can do. <laughs> this is probably, actually, you know, you know when you sort of go, well, maybe you don't know. I've, I've gone for a few free-to-plays and I re-experienced a game for a new player every time, right? This is a problem right now. Like the arena generally, it's so easy to get out of Silver 4 and then you hit gold and it's like, I'm playing a different game. Suddenly I'm playing a new game and it's impossible to win anything. It's so weird. I, I, I so guess I, I don't understand why people aren't want running dummy defenses throughout gold. Like, yeah, but forget that for a know. second. The fundamentals of the game are not right because you shouldn't go from I've been playing for three weeks. I can get to gold one, but as soon as I do, every single team, unless someone puts in a dummy team, is impossible to play against. I it agree. Be... I think you need to have a setting where you can uncap your losses. Like, I just want to be able to fall back to silver four. I, I think you just have the option that you go, I want to be entered into gold and just basically leave me in silver endlessly. Because if you take away the cap, then everyone just like all the top players just get pushed back down like that happened before. No, it's, where, yeah. it's the option. It's not, it's not an easy fix, I don't think, but it's definitely not yourself out a problem. Of the cap. Yeah, not they need to do something out. though, because but I'd just... imagine a lot of people quit the game because of this. Because you literally like, when you hit that mission now where it's like kill 75 enemies in the arena, I was doing that in Silver 4 in like seconds. Now it's like, okay, I can do like three a day. Feels great. You can attack <laughs> and go back if you want to lose. You don't have to be attacked. Like you can lose on purpose. That's what I did to get back in Silver 4. It's very difficult it's... though, right? You attack it the first one hard. like three, four times and you go like 14 points down. So Yeah, no, I was doing With that. With one refill, you can yeah. push yourself back in Silver. The problem is once you get up beyond that, series, like to, to decay back down is basically you're losing... What twenty five plus fights to get back? But down you cannot win them anyway, right? During the yeah, day, using before the you go to so. sleep, um, just put a one man defense up, and everyone's gonna smack you. Yeah, but you can't smack don't them twelve times because it's capped. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Is the cap? You can only lose oh, twelve times. So and either you stay sleep. on the, the border. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's just get back into the luck things then. So you've not pulled many shards, but actually the shards you've pulled, you've got miscreant and monster. You've had Terror Beast, you've had Talia, you've also managed to pull the blessing for Rhonda. Yeah. Like, I actually feel like you've been pretty damn lucky. I feel like you've, you're high on luck for the amount of stuff you've actually done. I what mean, do you think? It's subjective, but yeah, Miscreated was a, a good Have champion. Have you pulled an epic every sure. shard you've pulled, or what? <laughs> you say you only pulled four shards. You've got no, Miscreated Monster, 12. Frozen Banshee, 12 Terror shards. Beast, and Talia. <laughs> That's four out of four. four. That's a hundred percent luck. What are you talking about? Twelve shots. I feel, I feel like he's getting a shit. Oh, was it twelve shots? I thought you said four. Also, where's the fourth epic come from? Well, Frozen Banshee's basically an epic, right? <laughs> <laughs> and Apothecary is a legendary. Have you well, got yeah, a, if you get Apothecary, well. you win the game. Well, come on, you're the Mister Free to Play. You know this. Apothecary is the king of the game. But the, so the the reality is like you just have to work with whatever you get. Like you've pulled a Skimfoss. Skimfoss is one of the best epics. He's really underrated. But you can just you have to find a solution with whatever. Hey, you've hey, got. we're talking about your account here, not mine, mate. Hold on a second. Sure. <laughs> like, just, you have to find a solution with whatever you've pulled. I've got miscreated. He's the linchpin. He's yeah. kind of insane, right? Like if I didn't have him, I'd ideally have someone else, or I might have ended up having to pull more shards to chase something. I don't know, but in the end, mm. I've built it around him, and I've been able to to save shards for everything else. If you hadn't uh, pulled Miscreated Monster, would you have pulled more shards? I probably would have pulled something at some point. Yes, I don't know. Well, why. what like what's your philosophy on that? I'm, I'm, I guess I'm curious about that. Well, so so the main thing is like I'm not actually uh, exclude say never who's 
gone off to the races. I'm not actually behind really anyone else. Mm -hmm. And I have all the shards. I was saving them trying to get the fusion, which I was hoping would be a a really good champion for a kind of progression uh, account, if not a clan boss specialist. And I was hoping it would be a fragment. But it's not. It's going to be traditional. So it's probably not going to be one that I'm going to go for. You can't ever no, I mean... say definitively what the exact path would be because it's always something that you'll adjust as you go and based on what like humps you come up with and what difficulties you find. And it's gotcha. like, well, I, I just pull stuff when when it's required. Like, it's the same with, you know, I had one, one six star for ages and I was waiting for a champion training that would work for us. And it was the CVC champion training combo. It didn't have the legendary book, but went for it and I won it instead and obviously put good points on the board for the clan in, in CVC. And it was kind where of like, where did you get all those points it. from? Because I see you've still got your books. You, you've not pulled any shards to do it. What, where are all those points coming from? Well, I made two six stars. I did 16,000 champion training points. Right, okay. During CVC. I bought 1,000 energy from clan shop and then 600 energy from clan shop. So I bought 1,600 energy from clan shop for CVC. I had energy refills from tournaments ready, waiting to go from both tag team and classic arena. Yeah. I spent 800 gems on Ronda's masteries during CVC on a 2X. So that's 1,600 points. There you go. So you've bought two champions masteries. You've still got 1,440 gems and you've got level one gem mine. What's your thinking with gems? So basically, I wanted to have enough that if we had the fusion, I would be able to do it. To have enough shards, enough gems, that I'd be confident of doing it. And do you think you would, if, if you wanted to go for this fusion next week, do you think you've got enough resources here to have done it? If it had been a fragment, yes. Even with the shard count? Because the shard count still feels a bit of a fusion. From where? The potions that are the problem. Uh, one from Nightmare Campaign and one from the missions. And do you, th do you feel like Nightmare Campaign's achievable for you at the moment? Uh, yes. Ronda and Miscreated will do it fine. Yeah. Yeah, Mystery Act is actually quite a big carry, isn't he, for that? Yeah, so like, I was fine on that. It's the fact that it's a traditional means that you've yeah. got to waste so much resources. You basically lose a six star. There's huge amounts of potions that we can't bomb at the moment efficiently. Yeah. So like the whole thing, the fact that it, as soon as it became a traditional one, it's like, forget it. So, so you're just like, back to, back to the grind. What, just basically farming... Champion XP, farming more six stars. Is that, is that, is there anything else on your brain right now? Uh, right now, I'm focusing on, on well, I'm doing the, the spider tournament to get like some silver and, and some accessories. I'll then go back to farming food. So I'll have ideally food for another one to two six stars. And then I assume by the time I'm at that point, we'll either have pulled some shards for the fusion. Or we'll be working towards, you know, or we'll have fused an epic or something from the fusion. I'll yeah. have something else to six star. Otherwise, I'll six star Frozen Banshee. Okay, well, let's do a, a poll then. How lucky is Earbad? It's actually quite difficult to do because we don't know what's behind your shards, right? It's one of those things. Well, let's assume it's a Krisk six. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that, that's the interesting <laughs> thing, right? So when we're looking at like luck, it's kind of like you've got to like assess it in terms of who's already used their resources and what do they get out of it versus who's been smarter and we, you know, not pulled and yeeted every single shard, basically, because once you start going, you can't stop, right? So My it, I mean, I would... are also doing good work for me, so we should end up with three more sacreds there eventually. Oh, before. what is this? Look at this! Yeah. Ugh. Oh, we didn't ask for you. Lady H's referrals just dropped out. She's one of them at fuming. Least. She's fuming yeah. about it. Oh, waster. So that's another oh, four terrible. sacreds coming our way eventually. Are these are these all you or are these no, these these are not you, are they? All in They're for Eobard. Look at this. They're carrying him along the way. MVPs. That's impressive. That's impressive. This is this has got to go into the luck score, guys. If you've not done your luck vote yet, <laughs> getting <laughs> referrals like getting this. Six, <laughs> <to> six. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessary luck score versus like reliable followers. <laughs> I mean, for, for me, I would say, you know, it's what's his luck out of 12 ancient shards. And, you know, yeah. I, I, getting a miscreated monster, it's pretty, it's pretty well, lucky. Sorry, Deadwood, but you got Elva 
you. Oh, that, that, I, you, you probably I have didn't say, the, I didn't no say the most lucky. I didn't say the most Honestly, lucky. I just said lucky. It's Come incredibly on. Incredibly lucky. Come on. Miss wow. Great Monster, Terror Beast, Talia, <laughs> Rose you and Banshee. Said yourself, El Hades, we, we create our own luck. I pulled during a 2x. <laughs> you do bang on about that a lot. Yeah, Somebody's whatever. getting a little defensive here. I don't know about all this. <laughs> I mean, you paid yourself for the target. Just we haven't looked throwing, at your account yet. Right, throwing hands. <laughs> throwing hands out here. 53% no, on a three for Earbad. It's hard, it's hard to judge because you haven't opened any of your shards. It's difficult. You know? That's the thing. My gear. Look how unlucky I've been with gear. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we don't want to compare We've that. We've been talking like, about this, right? It's basically, if it feels like uh, I can't pull a champion, but I can bad. roll a stuff. Uh, this is what it feels like. I can't pull a champion, but I can roll stuff. And you've got the other way around where you, you've got, uh, you know, probably good champions from the 12 ancient shards, but your gear has not been great, have you? Like, we've been talking about it. Yeah. It's a real yeah, struggle. Exactly. That's what's kind of The like other thing is, right? like, again, you're... more than just champions. I know, maybe not holding it. No, I crafted everything during um, during CBC. Yeah, CBC, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's move I on. Say then. We pull so... an ancient. Pull an ancient. <laughs> Get out of the quick. Run. Run oh, to the hills. You missed the opportunity. Could yeah, have been sorry, I'd already got out. Oh, it's changing password. <laughs> Could have been a <laughs> you missed that Duchess. Yeah, man. You missed the Duchess. Is this because we managed to um, force you to pull the shards in your stream, odd one, when I was there the other day, and you <laughs> no, didn't want to pull your shards? It's like, you know, I'm happy for that because now, I mean, people still are like, oh, you got the Tomb Lord, you got the Tomb Lord. It's, it's fun how people remember the Tomb Lord, but forget the four sacreds that basically gave me nothing. You know? I, I with you. I was there. <laughs> I got a, uh, I got uh, a uh, ripper. It's like, oh, sounds like a copium, odd one. Yeah, it's copium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding right. my Tomb Lord train till I die. Well, it's a good, it was a good job here, bad. I, I like the, I like what you had so far. I like the. It's it's very cool to see the different approach, right? That's that's what's really nice there is. Yeah. Everyone's doing this slightly differently, but that is so different from the rest of us. Yeah. Um, it's a shame we couldn't see the account just before Clan versus Clan because I've seen the inbox and stuff. I know how crazy it was. It's so much food um, saved up. Hades, did you want camera on or camera off? If you want to, mate. Yeah. If you're good to go. It seems like the sixes are with camera. I don't know if I can camera it up. Uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Stuff's going right. to come up my throat. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. That was it. <laughs> Sorry? Sas gonna come for me with the Pipeon. He's been bullying me a week. <laughs> That's not what I heard. Child friendly stream. Come on, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. HH, you missed the, the biggest thing on my account, which is I've downed four faction war bosses now. I did actually go, I did uh, show oh, your yeah, faction war good. scores. Yeah, very I, good, I man. should put an addendum here. I have got the faction war stars ready to go. I just have another chance to put it on the leaderboard. So just to make Airbad happy, it's coming like yeah, like in the next couple of days. That, I know you've that been is the one thing. It. That is the one thing that I, I don't know that we we talked about that I think comes in a big play when you do go like Airbad's approach versus somebody else's, right? Like he's keeping on hold of all those rare champions, so he's able to push faction wars a lot better. But at the same time, he's not opening his shards, which can make part of that considerably harder, right? And so. He might be, he's lagging a little bit. I would assume he could be lagging a little bit with some of the gear that he gets, but obviously he's pushing Faction Wars harder than any of us. So on the other hand, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not by not opening anything, by not feeding all those rare champions, he's actually doing a really good job of like getting better gear than the rest of us early on. How many but stars I, I do you have? I think that part's really interesting. Yeah, about uh, 125 at the moment. Oh, I have 140. That's why I was curious. All right. You still need to pull shards though, so it's, it's not a hundred. I think I've done okay not, on faction wars. I think not a competition, right. guys. Yeah. <laughs> I've been no, like, no, I've no, been no. keeping the rares that have got that AOE abilities. Like the the rares that I tend to feed are the ones that don't have any sort of AOE. Like I've kept a Galek because for the orc faction wars, like he's probably the best raid that you can probably have for that. I would have thought. That's why I kept the Galek I pulled. Sorry, faction never. I know you. Up. I know you're a bit offended by the Galek, but I've kept one. I've kept one as well. 
I just want to clear up. I said Saf's going to come for my throat. I don't know what people are thinking in the chat. <laughs> oh, I don't really think you've made that any better by let's, clarifying. Let's not go there again. All right, let's let's uh, let's have a look at the account then. So... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Right. Okay. We're going to be clipping that oh, out. We're already. live. We're live, guys. Um, so you've got a couple of void shards just, just chilling and, a, and an ancient. Oh, what happened to you and the y- YOLO, man? Go for it. We're doing YOLOs Yolo. every day nowadays. Oh, we're doing it, are we? Wow, you've actually right increased now. the storage to 100. Okay. Yeah. I needed Let's it for food. It. I was getting fed up with the mystery shards. Yeah, storage is Yeah, difficult. don't forget this is me pulling, not is you, this? but Ooh, there's a Valerie. Oh, <laughs> okay. I should have warned you about Hell Hades pearls. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a... Uh, well, I've not had a void here. epic here, and I would like a Madam Ceres. Oh, I swear so... to God, if you, pull a, if you pull a Crisk right now, I'm done. I'm quitting. I, 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 I feel like with the luck... The luck I've had, I've not had a void rare either. But uh, hold up! Luck. Oh, not this dude, Scrapper. Uh, I got looks, a Scrapper. He looks mean. He's got to be good, right? Oh no! He's like Scrapper. Ah, Scrapper. <laughs> good for Scarab. Actually, we forgot one Is shard. I pulled. I pulled one Only... void shard, and I got a Harrier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! No, I got a Harrier too. Oh, not this dude again. Oh, the emo the guy. Oh, I got a as well, this yeah. guy, man. I've had him like three times now. Food. You know why he's got us to do that? So that people think his luck is bad. He's Don't be like, fooled. He's biased Don't be the fooled. chat right now. That's my luck. <laughs> That's my luck you've just seen there. Let's Zero get on to YST's luck. Shards. Go to the roster right away now so they see what's happening. There's nothing in there. It's, it's oh, okay. God. Oh, my I, God. The frog. The ethics you've got. What the hell? <laughs> is that, what? that Lady H's favorite champion is Scrapper? Oh yeah, she loves Scrapper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how how many epic she can I have there? Thank you. I've got a, a good few, I guess. <laughs> but not, it's not just <laughs> how many. Two or three. It's not just He's how got many. A Look at this dude. Cruelty. Oh. But oh, let's put this into perspective. Uh, I just got voted a three for pulling miscreated monster and having no gear. So what? What are these accounts going to yeah, be? Yeah, right? <laughs> you were voted a three yeah. based on you've pulled twelve, and four of them were pretty top tier. Three? Like... What do you mean top tier? <laughs> Talia. Talia is not top tier. <laughs> Triple hit, good for fighting line, counter attack. Here we yeah. weaken. So there is though a Pythian pulled this. This is not someone who's gone and got a fusion. This is someone who just casually pulled a Pythian. Was this a sacred or a? Yeah, it was my uh, first ever sacred that I pulled. He popped out on the first day of the two X sacreds with the uh, Kaimo, I think. So this was during. I know we're talking about luck, but he did pull this through a two time sacred. It's not just a YOLO midweek. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just a, I'm, I'm yeeting a void shard times tens on. I pull a crisp. He, he's actually <laughs> pulling it during what a reasonable time. Get back to your room. I mean, um, there's also 189 legendary champions in the game, but he got a Pythian, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you already been feeling the impact of a legendary this strong, like, with your general gameplay? Uh, yeah, like, if you look at him, he's only got a three-star ascension. He's, like, not... Where, where is it? On his... If you look on his base stats, he's got, like, 50,000 HP, uh, nearly 3k <laughs> defense. So he's just tanking Jesus. up everything. And that's about the banner order, amulet order ascensions. Oh, you can and, oh, and you got a ring there. for him too? Yeah. And you got the ring the, for him? What the heck did you get? Like, yeah. Five star frost gear already. We've been farming. <laughs> Look at that triple roll of the defense percent on the. Uh, oh, oh, my. <laughs> oh my. Damn, that's actually good. <laughs> that's I, wanted to focus, I wanted to focus on one really strong champion for carrying, and I felt like with an AWE reviver and support, it would probably be the best bet at the moment. And you've been throwing books into him. Yeah, okay, I've only had three, three books, books so far. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, like the, even the passive alone is so big. It's so big for any content, right? It's massive. Yeah. No, you, you definitely you feel it. Bust. You definitely feel it. If you can get buffs. I don't think, it, like early game, I think it's going to be a little bit less powerful because you actually need someone to buff and he doesn't bring a lot of buffs himself. So yeah. it's not like you, super crazy. You mean like Taragi the Frog? Yeah. Well, like, and Mark, someone with Marked and Taragi the Frog? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is the thing like the, the one thing like right now my Your clan boss, boss damage sick. my clan boss damage isn't proper right now but i've got the team right and what i've done is i've actually gone on my main account and i've made the comp that i want to do and i've seen the numbers 
and I'm really confident in what I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks. You had to so, go make the team to be confident? No, I just had to make sure, you know? You had to make sure. So I was tempted to do that myself. That's a... Uh, yeah. I mean, you've even got an axe. I, I can't do that on my account, unfortunately. I haven't got the Chris. Uh... Yeah, so basically, right, <laughs> now, right now, what I'm trying to focus on is the booking situation and getting yeah. the cooldowns. And then after that, it's pretty much just the speed tuning and the gear. Uh, the thing is, like, this... I haven't even gone further down yet. So this is just like the top look. You've also got Udo. Obviously, you started with Mordecai, right? Yep. You've got Zardala, no. Phoenix. Yeah. Wait, I didn't you start with here. Deacon? That's, Wait, no, didn't I you pulled... start with Deacon? Oh, no, Deacon, yeah. Deacon. You just got a, you a chill with extra oh, Mordecai. Oh, <laughs> what the is hell is this number of epics? Look no. at them. You got more epics than Raz. I didn't see Zargala. And you oh, were complaining. For Rams, oh my god! You were complaining yeah, about my epic pull rate. Oh no! Just, man. Oh, I say this is epics. I say this is a Ibad, your your pull rate is about the same <laughs> as this guy's. <laughs> it is. You just haven't Everyone pulled the shards yet. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in chat they were saying that I was salty right now. Now you know why. Because <laughs> this is wow. all we've been seeing in challenger chat all week. Is oh, oh by the way, guys, I'm on Chris and I got a Pythia oh, and I got this I'm and I'm like. I'm crying. Is there anything in the vault? Um, there's a, just food champions, uh, pretty much. What epic? You food epic? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a level. <laughs> Damn. That Although is I would say your problem right insane. now is you've got so many epics. Like, how the hell do you like? Like, you've got so many things you have to book. It's well, a nice I, problem I, to I, have. I, but... I guess the main thing for me is right now is the options are there for the future, but I've actually got the core clan boss team, and for me that was the main focus because I actually am considering to do marked as my next six star champion. I think the low cost of the rare books that I've already yeah. done, the Phantom Touch Blessing, and what she brings to the table is enough. Three because, star as well. Yeah, Three because if, if I get, um, what's it called? You haven't if needed I did... to use the rare books anywhere else. So. Yeah, so if I had a block D bus <laughs> to, to cover one of the champion skills, then Pythion does the other two turns. That's full coverage for the affinity friendly. Mm, that's nice to have. Yeah. Bad, yeah. You've also got Brimstone on your Ronda. You've got a four star blessing on your Demasa. Yeah. Three star or marked, dude. Like, uh, what is uh, this luck? <laughs> what is this luck? Dad was like busy on it's Amazon unreal. right now, going, "Oh my god, I have to buy this damn hat." And I, it's actually unreal. <laughs> Shut that's, up. That's, no. That's, wait, wait, yeah. So basically, me and uh, Dad would have a like a a little battle going on to see who gets the ultra. Is it really a battle or is it more like a murder? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm we'll going see in first, a baby. We'll I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not giving up anything on this one. We'll see. I feel like I can get there first. Did oh, you guys stop one week earlier or something? Because when I, I saw chance, my tomb seems certain. like a baby when I see your account, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say the oh, one, is, the one issue that I do have is I really wish I didn't six star my Elhane. I wish I went for Ronda now. Mm. I don't. I do mm. it is with Elhane. I feel like she's a wasted spot in my clan boss team. And she's yeah, not doing nope. any crazy damage anywhere for me. Because I was, I was farming campaign with her at rank 50. And the only reason I took it to a 60 is just to do it quicker. So I felt like you I couldn't have invested it. Right? I mean, I know, you know how long I've been correct. farming this crit damage amulet. I can't even get one piece for the high elves. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it's, it's like I can't even do any damage anyway. So what's so you've got three six stars here. What's your focus? So are you are you focused now on gear? Or are you still trying to go more six stars? Are you, are you going um, basically masteries? I've, I've been pushing. I've been kind of had that challenger mindset in a sense. So I kind of tried to push the highest stages on the dungeons. I've been pushing the nightmare campaign. And all of that stuff. Uh, but on the side, I have done, I farmed up Pythion's masteries manually, um, yeah. which was pretty cool. I did one level gem mine and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, Doom Tower, I've so actually done really well as well. Max masteries, though, which is, or not max, but near enough. Yeah, I just got the War Master and that was it for now. Yeah. Damn, it's actually really good. And did you say, sorry, Doom Tower? Yeah, Doom Tower, I'm pushing. Um, I think I need to manual the floor that I'm on right now, 66, which is like the, um, the Siffy Rotos. Uh, combination the issue is i haven't got a lot of damage right now i've just got support so i'm not dying but yeah it's just one of those ones but this one's <laughs> they really put siffy rotus on six six floor like the hell floor that's just like someone's having a laugh in playroom somewhere there yeah like, six, six, but six, the, six. the good thing is though this, this team was actually full autoing the whole doom tower so i wasn't having to like manual battles after like there's like a few floors i had to but for the most part since i six star pythion it's just been full auto 
Since I had a, like an AOE reviver and a cleanser and a block debuffs and a champion with strength <laughs> and a passive, I just been able to full auto the entire game, right? Yeah, yeah. it uh, does change the game a little bit. It does, yeah. it does. but there is no I'm damage. I'm full no manual damage, every like... level I do. I'm like that, sweating in between yeah. each wave, just trying to get that skill well. back. Oh, it's right, so damage, you exactly. wore them to death with all those bots and support. It's in a frost set as well, so it doesn't really matter because you know it might take a while, but they can't even take a turn because they freeze themselves. It's like yeah. big brain stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. guess one question before we do the vote Have you pulled more epics than rares? Uh, uh no, of course not. No, um, it's close though, right? <laughs> it's yeah, bloody no, close. Uh, <laughs> it's because I've actually been feeding all of the rares to make the food and all of that stuff. So yeah. I'm just kind of like ignoring the res. If it's not like Apothecary, Frozen Banshee, or like a standout rare, I'm like, I'm not going to use them anytime soon. So I'm just getting rid of them. I don't need them to doing. see what for res he's actually fed. Yeah, I've not, I've not actually picked up, Um, I picked up a bunch of champions for Razin, but he's not my focus because I've got an Anax who brings the same kit plus a poison. So yeah. I've kind of just ignored that because of that epic pool there. Okay, then let's get a vote in. YST, how lucky is YST? Seven. This is going to be close. What's, Seven. what's the action was like for, for YST here? If he's been feeding all those rares? It's not too yeah, high. 74. Yeah, okay. It's pretty decent. Pretty okay. I basically so, just put some gear on the epic champions and do the lower floors and just see how far yeah. they get. I'm interested to see this number versus lockers, honestly, because I think it's, I feel it's quite close. But even on the Nightmare campaign, I pushed really quite far with like free starring most of it. Um, I can push further. I just wanted to stop because of energy. Yeah. So I've got like, mm -hmm. like nearly halfway. Up speed sets is what I've been That's trying what I'm to looking get. for. I'm trying to go for the 135 speed. stars. Yeah. Actually, yeah. like we, we, I was talking to, um, to, to Earbad on, on chat. Who was I talking to? I was talking to someone. I was basically saying, even though it's a lot of energy, there's three five star chickens at the end of this path. So the yeah. amount of energy, as long as you don't waste it and you're efficient, actually, it's three it pays five off. star chickens. There's three yeah. five star chickens. It actually pays off to push Nightmare Campaign if you can be efficient and do it. You know you can do it because you probably spend the same amount of energy making yeah. three five stars. I was saying that on stream as well. I was like, like, yes, it's cost a lot of energy right now, but think about how much energy and how many champions you need to make three five star champions. And if mm. you can get to that five star chicken threshold, you're getting gems along the way, you're getting gear, you're getting millions of silver, you're getting ancient shards, void shards. There's so much stuff from the Nightmare campaign, which I think is underrated. Yeah, and farming stage six. Where, where is the free five star chickens? It's a bit further on. So Rewards. after the speed gear, it comes with the void shards and the chickens. Yeah, oh, okay. So it's a bit deep in, but it's worth. It's like if you can do it, like without losing all the time, because it, it does get pretty tough after like yeah. stage four, stage five. Yeah, who are you using five. as your carry then? See, like this one here had a few two stars because I had to do. A, I was just doing Pythion and Elhain the whole yeah. way. It's just the yeah. affinity that kills you because it's it's all yeah. force on, and the gore masks just wreck your, your 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 DPS champion. The good thing is you got a reviver, which is yeah. It's probably yeah. much easier when Pythian's booked on his reviver, I guess, right? That's that's yeah. where it'd be. But like even farming stage six six nightmare, like that's a goal that I've been doing speed recently. Boots speed boots is huge. Yeah. Just getting a couple of them is is really good. Yeah. Okay, then let's check out the score. So, YST, how lucky is YST? He has scored on a six seventy seven percent, twenty one percent on a five. What was Lockers? Eighty seven on a six. Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> should have been a seven. I called it. Should have been a seven. Rigged. <laughs> so Locker's still winning at the moment as luckiest free to play in raid. I feel like it's bloody close between those two. Um, That's pretty close. It's weird because it doesn't feel like I'm like super powerful or anything when I'm playing. It's just like so much support but no damage. It's it's a weird one. Like because I everything's think... so easy for no, you. It no, it doesn't it feel. <laughs> he's like yawning. He's like, oh, it's so boring. It's so boring. All these levels. No, no, no. no, 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 no but think about like in the arena, right? Where's my damage right now? Who am I duking? Doesn't matter. Nothing. You don't die. You eventually yeah, but... will win with frost set. <sighs> Ronda eventually, right? It gets and tough. And Fennec could be really I mean, good too. Gem, oh, yeah. If you get him, right? Yeah. Like, he's going to be my arena nuke. I think it's just a that's the thing. Right? Gembo coming up is actually a really nice thing for anybody that's like yeah. I know it's great for me coming up in arena like I don't have to worry about six starring my my Elhane because I know I'm gonna have Gembo there I'm like okay and, that's and my second honest, damage dealer I've got the king of arena which is Fanax, my personal favorite champion you know yeah what a beast what a man oh chat's already calling I, it why is he might not actually know he didn't uh win 
Whose video were you were on when we pulled that? You're doing the same damage as you and Clan Boss, given your team. No, so so the Clan Boss right now is Force Affinity on the hard. So usually I one key that. On Brutal, I do about, um I think, 9 million or 8 million a key. Something like that. 7, 8 million. So it's about a free key for me right now. Problem, so problem with YSTC is just a in, matter of time. Once I bring in that um marked, I think, and start speed tuning a little bit, then we'll see everything fall into place. It's just a matter of time. Books for you is going to be the biggest hurdle, right? Until that Taragi's booked properly and, yeah. and Vivian's booked. Like, they, they're great, but the value of books for this free to play account is like the biggest learning curve. Okay, so we've got Deadwoods to go and then mine. At the moment, YST is the luckiest challenger. Right. Wait, I thought Lockers. Oh, was. no, sorry, Lockers is. Lockers is. Sorry, no, it's well, not YST. Yeah, no, oh. I'm wrong. <laughs> wow. in, my, in my head, he is, but. <laughs> <laughs> Is that nepotism coming out now? Yeah. <laughs> wait, there's right. another six coming, so just wait for it. Wait, I'm, co I'm, I'm confused. Are we winning if we're the luckiest, or are we winning if we're yes. not the luckiest? Well, I'm going to say okay. I'm winning. I'm winning is take first place. Well, like, asterisk. <laughs> no, it's like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Lockers, then we'll just sit, hold my beer. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a matter of opinion, but... <laughs> well, everyone wants to know, has, has, um, has Hell Hades gone over to Lockers and gone, yeah, I got this void shard. Can you just, like, push a, a mouse yeah. button i wish me. i did have a void shot <laughs> like, yeah make the magic happen no, so the, the trick is you got asked about it in the video before for like an hour before <laughs> well, it's true. I I feel old, reason, old one right? did the same i did try that mm. i saw jack do it and then old one do it so i was like right uh, old just, it works 100 percent work. success rate what? what did i get a penitent yeah. i knew i should have asked for a crystal silver cold heart i knew it <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure right, every time for... I've pulled a shard, I've asked for an ally protector, and so far I haven't had one, so I'm questioning this strategy. <laughs> you're, you're too vague, you have to give a name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got one champion, yeah. that's all you can ask for. Yeah. That's what the raids got listened to. Exactly. So I'll do a quick shout out. Lord Sidious, thank you for the sub earlier. Caladine, thank you for the sub. And Wolf Caleb, thank you for the sub as well. So, Deadwood, let's get onto your account then, mate. Um, all right. Gold one in the arena. Working your way yeah. through the Great Hall. How are you feeling about Arena? Uh, I feel okay about it. I, I was I was really trying to avoid getting to uh, getting into gold, but at some point it just became inevitable. Um, yeah. You know? And so now I'm just at that point. So now I'm just like, especially seeing some of these guys getting these, you know, getting all the way to gold five. I'm like, okay, well, we're just going to be patient. We're going to reset. We're going to pick and choose our fights, and we're just going to try and climb best we can. So that's. That's a that's a new phenomenon for me. Um, you know, eighty five you know, stars on faction wars. Keep gearing up champions and then feeding them. So it's kind of <laughs> right. a weird thing. I'm like, yeah. oh, let's get this this one or two rares up, and then they'll try and feed them. Uh, it's bad. Okay, let's have a look. What's going on? Oh wait, wait before you, before you do this, oh, go no. look at my clan boss results for today. Just I just want to point out. No matter how lucky we are, we can still be really, really unlucky. Do you, do you realize how close I am? 21.4. <laughs> are you really complaining that you're like four points away from, Like, brutal. No. No, I mostly <laughs> just wanted to show off my complaint? team. Are you just sitting no. there trying to go, oh, I, I just missed that two key brutal. Ah, oh, it's just. This is actually no. nice, though. You've got. Yeah, this, this is exactly why I, I wanted to do that to get that reaction from you. <laughs> you're just baiting me. Eight. I That's baited it. you, trolled you, and it worked. Success. <laughs> this, I mean, this is a proper yeah. clan boss team. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Uh, this is an endgame really team, I'm really happy about it? that. Why? Yes. I'm definitely not. I don't know about endgame, but I feel like this team could take me into an ultra nightmare. Um, I like the tech. Gear and setup. <laughs> Decrease attack. Turn meter. Two turn meter champions. That's decrease the defense. Issue. Probably just need a toxic set on someone just to help the venom mage out a bit. It's probably yeah, Ronda. What I have to do, yeah. Ronda toxic. Yeah, Ronda toxic set. That's pretty crazy. Got okay, brimstone man. going on in there as well, you know. Yeah, got your brimstone already. <sighs> so this is a seven for sure. Let's have a look. <laughs> is it unanimous? How, can, no, can we just guys. Like, when we're doing the vote for the luck, can we actually contextualize that the king of clan boss managed to get everything he needs to make a perfect clan boss traditional team within like a month? Like, how did the how did the world of like rage manage to make that happen exactly? You can literally build a perfect clan boss team with rare champions. So I I don't I mean I don't know yes, sure. <laughs> I don't know about all yeah. that. 
can't get like yesterday. So are you volunteering to not use your champions and build it all yeah. with res? Just to God show everyone no. how it's done. God no, that's ridiculous. So you just God, said you just said you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, and yeah, I absolutely can. I will not. That's a waste of my time. Heck no. <laughs> this is already hard enough, man. It's a challenge. Some, like, this is hard. He does some books going in, in nice like places here. So Venomage mm -hmm. nearly fully booked. Dink, yeah. well on his way. Mm -hmm. And then I guess Jared would be next. You've also got Ugo yeah. sitting down here, which is just a great dungeon and eventually Hydra Champ. I'm actually. But, I think Hydra is where Ugo's Ugo's going to be my main my main source here. I guess the once vault. you get past that, I know I know this has been. You've obviously got great champions here, and, and Saps right. You've got Clan Boss nailed with the champions that you pulled, the good champions that you've pulled. Mm -hmm. You don't really have a lot of depth unless you're hiding it. I guess you've got actually you've got open a bit the vault. Depth. Yeah, hold on a minute. <laughs> hold on a second oh, before I go on into all of that. It's, why do people keep hiding them in here? Come on. Um, I was. This is where I kept them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I didn't open up a lot of space, so I gotta save my room. I mean, I pulled a ripper. Fair, you've got a bloody shit ton of epics as well. What's going on? I, I, going I instantly on? fed my ripper. I just got rid of it. I didn't want to see it anymore. Just get rid of it. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I also, I, yes, I pulled a ripper and I pulled a, uh, I don't know, some other trash champion that has like a weird, weird skill. I can't remember his name though, but he wasn't that good, so. I fed them into so again uh, you've got three champion six star you've got three lots of masteries yep. and then basically got another close. mastery venomage yeah so you're just is that is that your focus at the moment yeah so right now uh so you know the hard part for me is always just staying focused and staying staying on one goal but at the moment my my next goal has to be well the potion magic potion keep opens up in what through two hours so t today, tomorrow, is a day of potions, as I like to call it, where I will yeah. be putting all my energy into the magic potion keep, and then I get everybody ascended. That's my that's my next goal. Um, after that, it's going to be spending a little bit of time in spiders so I can actually get accessories on these champs. And then, yes, it'll be getting uh, Venom Mage up to six star, getting Jarag up to six star, and then it's just about getting better gear. So like that's, that is my goal. I would like to, obviously, once I get venom age fully booked that's going to be massive for me and then i'm probably going to actually switch over to jar reg and try and get his eight his ally protection book because the cooldown on that's pretty long otherwise yeah and then of course we'll go into deacon then probably into ugo and then whoever else i have that i feel is you know viable for me but um yeah. dahi's I'm really good but I just don't know that he fits in anything that I'm running right now. He's not better you than anything bastard. I have. <laughs> <laughs> the aura, oh, would, be, yeah, the aura would be very big, big though. Like free yeah, accuracy yeah. for all your champions. That would be, that'd be huge. I mean, the, the fact is you started with Deke. So the, the main job that he would do for you, you've already got covered, right? That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. It's a different affinity yeah. though, which could be a big deal, True. right? It's bigger mm. for dungeons than anything else is yeah. what I'm finding. Um, and that's the one thing I'm really... It's funny, I got Dahi and I'm like, well, he's not really a help for my account. I've got Deacon, I've got Ugo. But then I realize he's a different affinity than both of them. And so it does help, like, depending on what content I'm going into. You're magic I have, heavy. I have AoE decreased defense across the board. Yes, I am very magic heavy. Everything is magic. So if you if you come up against, like, a force clan boss, you're just, like, crying in your milk, right? Oh. 100% my, my first 4K and Ultra Nightmare will be against a Spirit Clan boss or a Magic Clan boss. Like, there's, no, there's no two ways about that. That's simply how that's going to go down. Yeah. Damn, it's actually really good. So let's have a look at your gem situation. You've gone level one gem Just, mine. Yeah, that was a mistake. You wish you didn't do that? No, I wish I'd, I bought Masteries for Deacon. I wish I hadn't done that. I would have preferred to have put all of it into my gem mine and just have that unlocked. Because right now, every time I use yeah. gems for energy, I'm always like, ah, oh, but I probably should save that. And I just hate that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of annoys me. <laughs> yeah, I, you'll see in a second on my account. I've I almost done the same as you, but I flipped at that point and went, I was going to go third champion masteries. And in the end, I went full gem mine. And then mm -hmm. and then I'm just burning my gems wherever I can. <laughs> at the yeah. But but I've got the the full gem mine, so at least I'm earning it back. I like that. I like that personally. Referrals are going to work as well. Actually, you got some good. Is this? Yeah. Is this you? Nope. 
Not me. Those are those are <laughs> those are <laughs> those amazing. Names, man, for God's sake. <laughs> those, that's all YST. What's funny me is YST... the other person couldn't actually call themselves Dead with Jedi beats YST because you could you can't actually call like the two the same thing. So you have to call yourself <laughs> Dead. <laughs> really, uh, I love no. it. Uh, it's great. That's all why I see. He, we threw out that challenge, and then he, I was saying I didn't have anybody doing my referrals for me. But like the people that did, like you know, they quit. And so he's like, "All right, you know, he challenged my my subscribers to get on it, and they got on it, and I've been real nice. impressed." Actually, we're not one in chat here. Havoc's like, "Yeah, one of those is me." Oh, <laughs> yep, nice yep. man. Havoc. Do you know the worst Good part of it is on my ones? Yeah, everyone just stopped doing mine after Jamasa. I've got one dude that's doing it for me now, though. But the other two is like, I've got no books, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your problem. I try to do the same. Yeah. I do my, be- I really do my best to shout them out in my videos. I'm like, hey, thanks, guys. By the way, if you can get the 40, I really need those epic books. But yeah. uh, thank <laughs> you, hey, guys. If, if you're one of those dudes, it costs 20 gems to change your name. You can switch it around whenever you like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a perfect name. You guys they got going on there. I love it. Do you know when I'm totally. casually watching Deadwood's videos and all I see is Deadwood speaks YST? Oh. <laughs> So I guess you've managed to pull a ton of epics. You've got a legendary very early. You got the yeah, brimstone for Ronda as well. That's just a matter of time, though, right? Like, I mean, there's only so many legendaries. You think so? I've clicked that button so many day. times, dude. You wouldn't believe it. Every time I'm yeah, like, I mean, it's... here it is. Oh no! <laughs> this time, yes, I'm very uh... happy. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I felt Let's that way on. until I got her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Deadwood, right. Let's do, do a poll. Do you feel then. like Elva is S tier? I was, I was in um, the stream and we were having a discussion about guaranteed legendaries, and he pretty much said they, they'd never put an S tier legendary as a guaranteed champion. And I was like, Elva's pretty S tier for me. That's a tough call. Um, I will say this like, at this point in my account, um, there's a handful of legendary, like, literally only a handful that I would want instead of her. Uh, she does amazing, amazing stuff for me. But I do know that as you go further along in this game, she definitely loses a lot of uh, viability. You know, I don't think, I think one of the things about being an S tier champion is that even the end game accounts are using those champions. I don't know that many end game accounts are really using Elva. And so I don't know that I would put her at S tier, right? She's not like, mm. she's not on the level of like a Duchess or Krisk or something See, like that. I, I but she, but she, Maybe I was too subtle when I said Necmo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, her, yeah, or, mm, yeah, Neck was yeah. Neck was S tier for like probably Hydra or anything else. Sorry, but just, the thing it's is, just an interesting debate because like some some people yeah. are like, oh, yes, she's not S tier. I'm like, isn't she? She's like, she's like, she's, she's damn say, close though, right? She's just a an I absolute she's, carry. Absolutely, she's she's right underneath that, right? She's so good, and especially once you get her ascending, you get that extra healing on the passive. It is just, yeah, it's really yeah, hard to beat that. I use yeah. mine in my 3v3 goal for defenses, so I feel like she's S tier. She is S tier. Like, she's the only champion in the game that has, what, cleanse, in, de- in, uh, cleanse increase speed, and decrease and block debuffs, right? It's the only yep. champion yep. in the game that can do it in one ability. So, exactly. to me, like you've got, you know, it's just unique. Definitely, I don't know. Definitely I was just shocked. Close. Yeah. I was surprised Very people close. didn't think she was S tier more than anything else because. I mean, Lady Kimi was S tier, you know, but I guess that was the first one, so. Yeah. it's just that she doesn't have a like a defined place in this game because she's not um out she's not she's not top in the game at any one thing she's just extremely good at uh you know some basic things that you def- definitely need in most teams true so yeah. like for my account absolutely she's s tier but i mean just overall in the game there, i think she's like s minus or a plus you know what i mean yeah so the votes come in actually deadwood i, I cannot believe this vote what is this stream of friends on? in here? Lots of what is this stream thinking of? A five, sixty-five percent, followed oh. by a six, stream, only twenty-five raid. percent. He will raid stream. <laughs> Do these guys even well, raid? He will raid. <laughs> what the Basically, hell? he has the perfect. Like, if you were to like list what you would want to start a clan boss team, he's got them all, and that's still not enough. And more like. No, but Sorry, what Deadwood. I'm confused Sorry, about Deadwood. is it's got more and backup for decreased defense. Oh, <laughs> How do so many more people think that YST has been way luckier than Deadwood? I feel but like what happened is I've hired similar. a bunch of people to come in and click the five because it is referral. <laughs> 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 I am confused by that vote. Really am. But um, well, damn, what a what a crazy account, man. What a crazy account already. I would have personally put his account at a six. You wanna do you wanna open my void shard? Are we doing it? 
I, I mean, I'll do lots of quests. <laughs> don't I've, need to ask him <laughs> twice. Have you seen my luck? I feel like, I feel like, feel like you might as well yell off. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, gonna be a we'll, we'll ride with we'll you. Lady H we'll I just love Don't the fact that the first champion you bought yes, Mastery for. have Lady H do it. I'm on Vizix. Are you sure? Oh, Don't Chris. be gold. Do not be gold. Chris. Vizix. Chris. Oh, oh shit. Chris. <laughs> Chris. Hey, this Confessor is actually, actually is low-key. Actually, I, I was surprised how good <laughs> Confessor was. <laughs> I've had the worst void luck. I've opened, what, five shards? And I've gotten literally nothing. She's actually. I was surprised by how good her A2 was. Like three to one hundred percent decrease accuracy. Yeah. I've got she's, a small the violin worst, but... here for you, Deadwood. So. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <Just> playing away. <laughs> <laughs> right. hey, my, also... pulls, my pulls aren't that crazy. I mean, it's not like I don't know about Jareg. Jar Ugo's really good, right? But like Jareg is okay. You know, what, really, what as an ally protection. You won, though, protector. was telling me how no, amazing that's a my miscreate de was. Default decrease like, attack. That's oh, huge. I've not had much luck. Like, Jareg was, what, the S-tier champion for Eternal Dragon at one point? Like, the go-to? Oh. But that, when am I going to care about Eternal Dragon? We're in the Eternal oh, Dragon this rotation. It's <laughs> literally this rotation. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, it's Doom Tower. I, I don't know. I don't value Doom Tower champs that high, right? Because it's like one time... Once every three months, like I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like but that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, like I, I, I gotta say, I just love the fact did. that you uh, you six start. You, you actually <laughs> bought masteries on your Elva first of all champions. <laughs> like, yeah, that was the Elva's, Of Elva's all the amazing. champions to put masteries on, Elva would be probably like the lowest of the low. And <laughs> you put it first. Phenomenal champion for it. I regret nothing. Regret nothing. Right. I knew she was every this, Hold on. What is this shot doing here? Not pulled. What? Well, I was waiting oh, for the uh, for the stream. I was Unbelievable. Like, 80s. I was ready. I was ready for the luck. 80s. Go so this it. is this is my account. Last one to show off tonight, and we're going to start off. with some extreme luck. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted it to be good. <laughs> it's not, it's well, I like that horn. I like it's a loan transfer. There you go. A, you got one of his green in, in a rare skin. Yeah. Right there. Have one, Jim. <laughs> got a hold of Jim. I've got seven gems. <laughs> Whenever you're on stream, you have like one gem. I don't know if you're one silver. Seven gems. <laughs> but I do. I do have a full gem mine. Oh, is that six million silver? Six million, yeah. I've been farming away Ooh. the last couple of days. That's um, impressive. That's, that's I've got an okay pretty... Great Hall, I think. It's not, not quite bad. never level, but not too bad. I've mainly been doing... I've been doing the Spider Tournament pretty heavy the last couple of days. So I've kind of got my book from that. Got some gear from that. Oh, there's all the gems then. Uh, well, yeah. Plus... Plus, I've been doing masteries. Like, I've been trying to farm. I'm, I'm surprised how far ahead of me people are with masteries. So I feel like I've gone pretty hard on it, and yet I'm behind. So I'm farming up Rhonda's mastery. I literally need like two more runs for her to get the scrolls, and then she's done. That'll be big. Her. Yeah, this is big. This is massive for me. I bought Kales and I bought El Haines. And then because I couldn't do a three man minnow, actually, the dwarf here is farming up masteries alongside it. So. Mm. It, won't be that much longer before I got like a fourth person's mastery as well. That's nice. And I got a few going on with Stimfoss. So I pretty much got a core of six champs that are in my teams. The two kind so of good. starter Kenilia. based. Stimfoss is decent, actually. Happy. Doom Screech yeah. is okay. Doom Screech makes me so happy. <laughs> Tell you what, YST, what you can do is you can trade your Pythian for that Cornelia, right? That's a yeah. good deal. Cornelia's like been my, is my big surprise. Seven. Do you I know do what, it. yeah? Do you know Cornelia? For this rotation, for Doom Tower, she can solo every single boss in this rotation. Yeah, it's, but not it's... really at, at the moment. <laughs> I... Like, it's... I know what you're yeah. saying. I, I'm basically running on Frank-level gear right now. Like, it's... <laughs> I've not been farming gear other than Spider. Like, I've got a pretty decent amount of accessories across the board for when I get going on that, but... I was farming silver and spider together and I don't have the gear from anything to really yeah. go solo mode, I don't think. It's the Orogrim Orn problem, right? We know they can solo it, but they still need like a base level of gear to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget my Tomb Lord. Same. And Not the Tomb the Lord. Tomb Lord. Forgot, Sorry, forgot. odd one. I apologize. It's fine. Don't worry. It's, it's fine, my friend. Yeah. That's true. 
Chris can just solo without gear. He does have a nice shield when he uh, logs in. Exactly. <laughs> when he logs in, checks into the team. How's it going, guys? Yeah, I'm just good, you know. <laughs> the only champion with a shield. In. But I guess if I show some other bits then. So Faction Wars, I have got 106. I think that's probably about middle of the group, mm. is it? I think most people are... It's pretty good. Similar? Higher than me. It's about the same. So I've just pushed factions okay. where I've got a decent amount. Similar to you, is it? Yeah, pretty similar. close. Similar. Mm. Arena, I've had the same problem as everyone else. I'm just basically... I'm nearly into that gold four. That's so but... big. It's mm. it's been really difficult. I've, Honestly, just you wait. It is so much better. Yeah. I feel like I've been treading water at 2700 for because I've just had busier days where I couldn't refresh as much. So I've just been stuck. And then today I've actually had a, a bit more time, so I've been able to do a load more fights today. But it's just been really hard. Out uh, of I've curiosity, spent... how many how many fights have you actually managed to do this week? Well, you can uh, look at the uh, Great Hall, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. 89, 179 of them. Okay, right. So for perspective, in Gold 5, I've done nearly 200 this week. Yeah, that's insane. It's just it. Yes. That's insane. Right. It's actually, out of everything that all the different challenges and all the different, like, we, we joke and jest, I actually think that's the one thing I would say is really bad and they have to do something about it because it's game... I think, I, I think players would actually quit over it because there's literally nothing you can do. You can't even, like, build a better team, right? Because you haven't got the gear. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, can, I, I can't compete with the normal teams at all. Yeah, um, I, I mean, you say that, but in reality, should an account that's three weeks old be in Gold 5? No, no. This, is, this is the problem. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would say not. So you can't, actually not, you can't actually stay out of Gold. That's the problem because of the way they've built the system. So you can't actually say, I want to stay in Silver 4 because you win too easily in Silver 4. So you just end up in Gold and then you're in this like situation that uh, Hal Hades is in, in the Gold 1 to 3, where you've got like these people that kind of log on a bit, they play a little bit, but they don't necessarily play active, where they're all just like proper defenses with a, not like the best teams in the world, but they're good enough that you can't beat them. Yeah, but a, a, again, my argument would be should an account that's three weeks old be in mid gold? I would no, say, it sh yeah, but, that, but that's my point. Most of us are or can. Yeah, be. but but the thing is, getting through silver actually is very easy. That's the problem because and of the loss. You hit cap. gold and suddenly they go into real accounts. Like basically, up until silver, it's only accounts of your age or your level. And then in gold, all of a sudden, it's like it could be any account. And that's the problem but i mean anyway we're, we're kind of spiraling on Different so we topic. can't really do much about it yeah but it is hard it's, it's it's not good for a player i don't think so even you're like silver four i think are you mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be long before you actually if you did more arena you'd be in gold straight away a doom tower i've been climbing i did get really hard stuck on the griffin at 50 uh and eventually did it two days ago so i'm now coming up to 70. Nice. But I think that's going to be tough as well. I think that's going to be a hard fight because 30 was not super easy. And obviously that's going to be quite a step up. But I used got a void shard there to you. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, I feel like for the amount of shards I've pulled, uh, Earbad, I feel like I've not got many epics. Look at the quality of those epics. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> Have you pulled 12 ancient shards? <laughs> A lot of our quantity. Well, we've a lot I reckon, of I've, I reckon I've had as many ancient shards as Earbad's got sitting there, and I've pulled one epic. I've pulled two void epics, in fairness, one of which I would class as pretty much a void common. Um, <laughs> Beardell, didn't they buff him like three times? And I've got two more. Actually, I've got two more epics sitting in here, which I pulled. So I did get a Buren Geary. It's actually pretty good. Want to get some deer on him? And Candlestick Head, not as bad as I thought she was, I guess. Oh, you built her. Yeah, with fact, <laughs> fact well, kind of. Sorry. Uh, she went to the boot shop. <laughs> otherwise. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, not the best. Um, but she's doing some faction war stuff. And she does come into a, you know, she's got like a, a cheeky mini strengthen. She's okay. But she's not going to be any sort of long term champ. Buren Geary might actually be a bit more of a longer term champ. A decent amount of control with the AoE stun. And what is the percentage on good it? buffs? 60%. Base is 40, so books to 60. It's on pretty good for an epic. It's basically a bit like Hoskaro, right? On that same tier of bit. Yeah, similar, yeah. yeah. And actually, he's also got a really nice A1. Uh, yeah, he's got the Provoke, hasn't he? Yeah. Mm, that's decent chance as well. So this could be, I guess, the rest of his kit. 
Maybe this makes a bit of sen uh, sense for Hydra later on. Uh, you'd be fine in about three weeks' time when but... we've got to get past floor 10 Bommel. Yeah, that's the other thing. Bommel is going to be really helpful for. But then I've got Cornelia, which YST says she'll do the job. So um, <laughs> I'm hoping she will. <laughs> In Cornelia we trust. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have not yet pulled the, the blessing for my Ronda, which is very sad. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Let's get a vote in. How lucky have I been? You know, it seems like one. the biggest problem is you don't have champions that are, like, helpful close, immediately. Close between a six and a seven, right? I was going to say, it's one of the luckiest camps I've seen. What? I agree. At <laughs> least, least an eight. Is that a Myrmidon? <laughs> there is a Myrmidon. And I did have I a second Myrmidon. one. I'll be honest. I You've got an ally protector. One. It's just better than my account. It's just that I do. I can't compete. Yeah, 50% ally protection. This well. is actually a decent rare, I think. It's okay. It's a really good rare. Yeah. The problem well, is though, and I'll build mine. Like, like YST was saying, the problem is he's a rare, which means keeping him alive is going to require better gear. As an ally protector, you like you compound the problem. Yeah. So... He actually has he has incredibly good base defense. He just has subpar base HP for. Oh uh, god! Target. Look at the books. Did you see how many books he needs? That's books. rare. Yeah, you can buy rare. them in clan shop nowadays. Yeah. Well, the clan shop, I, I would do that, but I don't have much gold left because <laughs> I have been, been buying silver. stuff. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've got 10. <laughs> you I'm, nothing. I don't no have enough patience, no honestly. Gold, no <laughs> no what are you doing? I do not have enough patience. I'm like, I want to get my masteries today. Use my gems. Use this clan gold. This is literally like, your life. This is you in real life. <laughs> I am actually I want that here thing now, in so real life. I'll just get it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a bit out. like that oh, when we talked about the Optimizer. Yeah, it's like, uh, I hope can we you're just... in charge of the finances. <laughs> oh, God. If, yeah. if, if LADs is, there's nothing in that account. No. Yeah. There's a reason why there's pack alerts on the on the phone, right? <laughs> Void shards, bing. That's why we've got three Lambos. Um... Yeah. <laughs> All chilling there. <laughs> oh, yeah, the only reason I've got so much uh, silver right now is because I've I've like put a ban on myself from using it for the last like two days. It was literally at zero two days ago. So yeah, it's it's been one of Love those ban. proper like That's YOLO great. life. I cannot <laughs> get over two million silver. I keep using it. Four, yeah, yeah. two, literally that, two yeah. pieces because I wanted to try and get my last bit of clan gold from a clan quest where I just need to roll a legendary piece with accuracy. I'm like, I got into the clan quest late. Yeah, those quests are bait. Oh. Everyone had the, got all the oh, good terrible. stuff, and I was like, maybe I could do this. I've got quite no, a lot of Forge you, stuff. You can't say you got the bad yeah. stuff. I didn't get one single quest. You guys are on that the second it refreshes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, tell oh, me God. about it. I went in there. There was literally three basic quests left, which nobody would want. I was like, I've what's going no on hope. Here? Those quests that you see there is mine. I've not even taken one yet. <laughs> what's, to be fair, what's annoying yeah. is when you see people with them, and they've not even tried to do them. I didn't what, take yeah. any basic ones. <laughs> any of the basic ones. That is really difficult <laughs> to do, though. Not three yet. rare shields. Don't so what do we mean? Two and a half thousand. Veiled. How do you think I feel where I now have to do the entirety of Dungeon Divers because I forgot once you get to a certain level of uh, a game account, it's not as um, forgiving. <laughs> like 5,000 points. <laughs> that is weird. So I, I've come in on the boat then. So I got one. one thirty-nine percent <laughs> Am I lower than wow. you? What? You can't be lower than I'm lower than Lady H! Yeah. <laughs> I'm the most unlucky <laughs> challenger! I'm Chat the most unlucky challenger! That's rigged. Shut up! This means he's a 7. A 2, 33%. Opposite day, uh... I think that is absolutely fair. That's not fair. <laughs> I, don't really, that's, I don't think that's fair. That's rubbish. That seems fair to me. Yeah. Lady H slightly. Do we have a revote where you remove that one. That seems fair. <laughs> yeah, just remove one and revote. Exactly. Rig. <laughs> there you go. So yeah. I guess in order then, just to finish it off, in order, we've got I was the unluckiest creator in the first uh, three weeks. Um, then Lady H. Then Fix. Oh, that Hades household. Then is all, Eobard. All or nothing, huh? Then Never. Oh, no, sorry. Then Saf, then Never. And then we get into the lucky fellas. It is Deadwood, 
then YST, and then the luckiest of us all <laughs> in the first three weeks is Lockers. Unbelievable. Official. <laughs> it's officially done. Was that deleted <laughs> off the list? What happened to me? Oh, Odd One. Sorry, no. Where did, where did Odd One come in? <laughs> and Marvel does a count. So you lucky you out. didn't even make the team. Uh, odd One was it's just like before Everybody Edward, forgot about me and my Tomb Lord. I got a Tomb Lord, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't exist yeah. after that. Odd, odd, odd One what? was just before Deadwood. Yeah, I missed him out. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's difficult when Lady H writes things out. That's what Actually happens when you give yourself It's true, it's I like a much scruffier I'm gonna go I like a much myself. scruffier notepad. Like I don't like it written out so neat. I can't really get my so head around it. Is the winner of the day the luckiest or the least lucky? Or is it well, the what I don't do you think guys we think? luck to progress ratio? I don't think we can count the Hell Hades vote. I think it's rigged. I yeah, yeah, that's bullshit. I, I think if I had to call it, I actually think Earbad's the luckiest of us all with that How? epic rate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Two shards pulled for it. Yeah, but you've got to remember, like, Earbad could pull all the remainder of his shards and then he gets absolutely nothing. So on balance, maybe he's not as good he as He could, but he maybe hasn't done that so far. Yeah, based on his running luck, I think there were like 90% epics in there. So, or yeah. just, we yeah. just make him pull his shards Probably today. legendaries in there, the amount of epic luck he's had already. Anyway, I, I, thank you. I think you. he gets credit as well for not actually <laughs> using his resources like the rest of us, being stupid, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. It, it, I guess he's playing it as a, I guess as an efficient player should play. And that's that's normally what I try and show in a free-to-play series. But I've got to say, I'm having loads more fun going yeah. YOLO shards. YOLO! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if there's two phrases that comes from this free to play, it's YOLO, and I'm not keen on it, but double dipping. Double <laughs> You've dipping, all yeah. said double dipping a double lot. Dip. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, you, you really want to triple dip. That's when. Oh, that's, that's, when <laughs> that's just disgusting. Oh, I'm, I'm from California. It's all about that seven layer dip. Let's get real, guys. Oh, man. How many layers can you go? The chip with uh, sounds disgusting. This chat is getting weird. <laughs> I don't want to talk about dipping anything. We're going into all sorts of. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to be banned. Uh, is it reset yet? Long. No, right, no, I think no, we're going to. I'm waiting for it as well, David. I think we're going to wrap it up, yeah. guys. Thank you all for coming on for some fun banter. I guess maybe we'll give it another few weeks and then we'll we'll have a bit of a, a refresh, a bit of a catch up. But yeah, appreciate you all giving us some time coming on and you lucky fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just like redo the leaderboards that we're on and put them on another one and then just recategorize them into I'm a different tier. Right? I'll still be on your leaderboard. <laughs> I, did, I, I should mention to all of the challengers, I do have the power of deletion. Yeah. I've got the power. Right. I'm not we're going to delete right. my second odd one gaming from the six stars. <laughs> that was a mistake. I don't know where he's come from there. twice. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just being me. <laughs> oh no my idea. God, I'm twice there. So I guess just to finish off, uh, odd one, no more cheating, and um, I'm no, just gonna go live right now and pull my two ancients and see what happens.